pushing the button. So, recap. Last time, the heroes further investigated Sandpoint. They uncovered the sad story of Nualia, the Azamar adopted daughter of Father Tobin, and they learned of the five goblin tribes in the hinterlands. They rescued a family from a closet goblin! They met an elf ranger, Shalalu, who brought news of a goblin army massing somewhere in the hinterlands. Sheriff Hemlock set off the Magnamar to raise an army while Mayor Devran asked the heroes to protect the town. One morning, they wake to find Amiko missing. The heroes received a letter to Amiko from her half-brother Suto, asking her to come to the glassworks. Investigating the glassworks, they find the bodies of Lanjuku and the workers mutilated by goblins. The heroes destroyed the goblins utterly, but what waited for them in the basement? Dun, dun, dun. I hope it's more murder. That would be nice. Okay, hey, so... The Hero Lab said that when I dinged, I get all my rage back. No, you didn't. Okay. We technically dinged before we came in. <laughs> or something long, weird like that. I don't know. I get more rage. Two more rage rounds a day. So. Yeah. But for the sake of this, you're still depleted as from the period before. Can someone control... Okay, so you arrive in the basement you started uh, searching it you see every 40 feet or so there's a sconce with a torch lit down here though it's a small basement are we continuing to look around uh, yes everyone had moved except for Johnny Rico can someone control Johnny Rico please Pebble stuck on my keyboard. Okay. I don't know how far you can move. Let's call that 30. Same as everyone. Okay, with that, uh, everyone has moved. Okay, everyone roll initiative. We need an initiative thing for this. Okay, uh... Okay. Do you guys see your initiative on there? Does that exist? Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Does it work? Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, how do I select my token? Your mom. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm gonna edit mine because I got 20 in the first row. I just wanted to see if that would work. First try. I'm just gonna win time. Huh? So what's in the win time? Como se llama? Someone is. Como se winning? I can hear your mouse better more than I can hear you, Nathan. Did you update the initiative? Does everyone have an updated initiative? I don't have a thing to put on my thing. Oh, you don't see it? Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm not in there yet. I forget how to, like, add myself, so I just don't. Fair next and Waith, you rolled. <laughs> Why did it revert to 20? Fair 15. All right, add you to turn order. Okay. We'll save for Johnny Rico not being here. We won't worry about his initiative. Oh, one bracket. No. <laughs> Savage 10. Whoa. You still can't roll? Oh, wait. All right, wait. In the basement, you see stepping out a well-dressed fellow armed with a bow. Oh, he's a fellow. He's not a fella. Put it up. He's a feller. He's... You see him step out into the basement when we put up his image. Good day, mate. Name's Bruce. <laughs> 
Uh, he steps out of the room and fires an arrow at you. <laughs> Something tells me he's not friendly. Well, he, he, if, he, if he was friendly, he just became very unfriendly. Is it the arrow roll, the last one? No. no. It's not good. And we shall say that misses. So the arrow goes wide as he steps out. Let me update turn order. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I need a machine gun arrow. Pew, 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 pew. Have Wait. you seen crossbow? No. It's your turn. I'm going to yell as a free action. Like, There's a guy over here shooting at me. <laughs> and I'm going to... Uh, Shoot him. I got rage here, so I need to go back to my rage. Raging. Oh, sure that also here. missed. Varenex. Oops, I'm not going to press, so I'm going to press that button. I'm going to move over here. What do I see? Yeah, all right, reviewing the map. You see uh, just in it extending. Okay, I'll sneak back on. What's this right here? It looks... Oh, okay, just a label. Just a label. Yeah. I like labels. Oh, didn't know if that was a map feature or part of a label. All right. That's a map feature. <laughs> Does he hear my voice at going from down that hallway, though, that he just sit down? Yes. Yes, but I'm moving around to give him a bit of a flank. Okay, Helga. Oh. Um. Oh, 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 oh. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I'm raging. You can double move right next to him. Can I rage double yep. move? And then yes. No. Well, I'm not raging yet, then, I guess. I'm not going to waste my... Because I was upstairs taking a break. And then I'm not going to rage until I absolutely have to. So... <laughs> well, You're not going to double move next to him? No, because then he'll shoot me. Okay. Johnny Rico. He's going to double move. <laughs> All right, it is Suto's turn again. He turns to, uh, he sees the cleric come up armed with a <laughs> great sword, baby. <laughs> uh, probably he'd be one, he'd probably be one square back because he has a spear, actually. Oh, okay, he has a spear step and fire. So he steps towards Johnny Rico. Screws Johnny Rico. And then, he, wow, he has a composite short bow in his hand. You see two feet fly at Rico. Two feet? And this will be... Like actual, like... like feet. Kicks. <laughs> It's so are they hit and feet? miss. Are they feet or are they boots? Uh, he ki uh, well, he has <laughs> boots on, but he kicks. He lets out a double kick. One striking Johnny Rico. The kick lands. Um, roll a. And then the first blow it may stun Rico. Uh, roll a save. I don't know what stuff is. Well, it's all on roll 20, but uh, we'll see if it's even close. Oh, it's not in roll 20. It is. His character sheet is up in roll 20 on the forum. Oh, in the forum. Oh, oh. And that was a roll to save? Sure. You asked for a d20 roll, you got a d20 roll. <clears throat> it's saved. 
Okay, so for uh, he takes. From the kick alone, he takes three damage. Alright, what is? Wait. I'm gonna shoot him again. Oh, yeah, Miss. Baronex. What's behind this door? Well, are those doors? I think so. Are the doors? Yes. I open one. <laughs> All right, you open the door. You find an I empty really room. Can't do anything because everyone else is in my way. My spell is like all an I've empty got room. Hello, we got like a, a funnel here. Helga, can I attack him? No. Can't diagonally attack him. No. Can I push D Dickwad out of the way? No. So. Should have done the other. Well, I'm sorry, Nathan. Um, All right. So nothing out of Helga. Hold on, I'm thinking. You be like, time out. Everyone, move out of this stupid hallway. And then we'll try to kill each other. I don't know. Can I charge him? <laughs> no. Okay. Move all the way around. I can't. Um, I guess I'll yeah. do nothing. All right, can Johnny I, Rico. Can I wait, could... wait, can I per... can I like wait? And then like, yes, you could, and you could have Johnny Rico go first. And then make him move. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna take a five foot step with Rico in the door. <laughs> um. Let's see. That might provoke an attack of opportunity. Five foot step. Well, opening the door. If Johnny Rico, oh, I see. He can kick it open with his foot. What about taking it? I don't know. Whatevs. I will say that it, it does not provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay, you're gonna open the door. Yeah, he's gonna just run. Basically, just yeah. Okay, he takes a step through the door. He just moves through the door. <laughs> And then he could make a stab move, I guess. Yeah, can you do All it? right, okay. so you open. Wait, no. Uh, he can't. Door doesn't open. Oh. I guess I'll run away. Uh, uh, double move. The door is locked. Double move. Well, we can solve that later. Double move. Attack of opportunity. Okay. What is? Nope. Yeah. Uh, Probably. Hits. An additional five damage to him. Okay, now I'm gonna go. I'm going to make a five foot step. Give me one minute. Alright, did you make your attack roll? Uh, no, I didn't. I was going to just tell you what I was doing. I'm going to take a five foot step and then I'm going to rage slash power attack this dude. Alright. In the face? I don't know, wherever it hits him. So we have the same HP as the last level, right? Uh, yeah, yes. Well, no, the uh, additional hit points you gain from the thing. No, you I'm hit, gonna... you match his AC. Okay, I'm going to roll damage, which is 2d6 plus 10. Oh. 
so I gain more hit points. That is a little painful. He uh, reels from the blow. Alright. So then Suto replies with the half elf replies with a uh, kicks to your face. First one going to be a stunning attack. Does that hit? Actually, I don't think so. All right, the other oh, one wait, misses. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh All right, misses. Wait. Rage. Come on. He like hit me <sighs> accidentally. <laughs> Varanex. Hmm. Is there anywhere I can stand on this side and have a shot at him, or do I have to move to the other side? Uh, at this point, probably have to move to the other side. Okie dokie. Or just hang out with me and give me some moral uh, awesomeness. Just be like, hey dude, what's up? How's it going? You're 45. I double moved over there. <laughs> Next to Rico. All right. Johnny Rico. So I uh, let's say Helga, it is your turn again. Oh, I get to go again. Yes. Okay, I'm go. I'm in. I wait. Doesn't that drop me below Rico? Uh, I'll let Johnny Rico drop back below you, so I don't have to change turn order. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> Power attack. Good role playing. <laughs> Ruling. No, it misses. Yes, it misses. Rico's turn. Yeah, he does whatever. Uh, he moves to attack. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, he's actually able to get in range and he blocks the door. You see a look on uh, Suto's face as he sat in. Roll to strike. No, but. All right, so Suto. <laughs> his he name is Suto. What a bitch. As he's now trapped, he has to fight for his life. It's not going to be very long life now. <laughs> Kicks. Oh. Quick threat, miss. Hits with one. As he kicks at your, as he kicks at your body. Five damage. Okay. And he steps. Five. Wait. Can I shoot him through, uh... Yes. Okay. As long as... Do you have that feat that takes care of that, or... I always forget. You probably don't. I shoot through... Uh, you may or may not. What feats do you have? I have... Uh, I have Precise Shot... No. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Precise Shot is... Your depth is firing... That's it. I think there is. Hold on. So you have precise shot and point blank shot. Yeah. You want, you do want, okay, you have precise shot. That's exactly what we were talking about. Okay. You don't take the negative four penny, so it's just his AC. Hey, Varanith. What? Uh, what Wait, you what, miss again. What program do you use again? PC Gen. Okay. Varenex. I will move to here so I can finally get a shot at him. And really hope that I hit. Fire splash or whatever. Is that his touch AC? Yes. What did you attack with? Uh, my little fire splash spell. Okay. Damage. Which is... Oh, you have to... One! Savage one! Damn, snap, dog. Unfortunately, everyone else is in melee range, and I don't think you'd appreciate me setting you all on fire. <laughs> yeah, fire's not good. That so singes his eyebrows off again. Okay. Fire bad. Fire's bad. Okay. okay. I'm gonna take a five foot step and then. Rage! Power attack. Yes! Ouch. <laughs> He's not gonna have a good day. 18. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Funk. With that, he collapses to the ground. Like dead, dead, or like mostly dead. Uh, 
unconscious and bleeding. Okay. I'm gonna shake it off, and then can I try to stabilize him? You can if you, someone could. Yes, I have a plus one in my healing now, so. <laughs> I know, I put one in to do it, so let's try it. No. <laughs> Is it possible to make it worse? <laughs> yeah, the, if, you played Surgeon, the if, you, if you played Surgeon Simulator, you can make it worse. <laughs> That game looks like right. so much silliness. So yeah. with that, Johnny Rico tells you to gather around him. He says, everyone come closer. You're gonna heal that guy too? Okay! <laughs> Who is injured? Me. I'm not injured. Hell <laughs> me, just stay at the back. I, think on fire. I have yeah. wounds. Yeah. Alright, heal four. Das wounds! Heal me! And with that, he's able, he puts uh, his hands in... It gathers everyone and holds the symbol of God and is able to stabilize Suto. Okay, cool. I'm gonna. Somebody have manacles or something? I do. Okay, then clamp it on. So you, you never put it on the sheet, did you? Oh, no, I didn't. I never bought that. That's right. Okay, then I'm just gonna freaking serial crush I've... his hands together with a rope. I have rope. Yeah, I have rope. He's a prisoner now. Okay, now I'm gonna. Can we open these doors now? See what's in here. We gotta um, find. We gotta find a lady friend. <clears throat> All right. Well, All right. So you're going. <laughs> because he would have killed him. So we would never find out where she is. The door that he stepped out of that Johnny Rico is currently blocking because he seemed to have a reaction to Johnny Rico blocking that one. A sad face. That's his escape route, probably. Okay, so which uh, which door do you want to take a look at? All of them. All... This one first. Yeah, I don't want to check out this one. The one on the right. I'm going to take five, though, because, uh, you know, raging kind of takes a lot. So. All right, well, so, Varenex, you look at that door first, we'll say, and as you get it open, you see some sort of tunnel running along. Helga, the door you go to is locked. Serial smash. Whoa. Do I need like a strength roll for that? Yes, you'll need a strength roll. Okay, I'll rage just for that. <laughs> <laughs> what are keys for? We have... <laughs> That's what we strength checks are for. Wait, yeah, does he have keys? That'd be a good thing to check before. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna you search broke, his body. You broke up, what was that? I wanna search his body. You start body. breaking the door, right. I'll search his body. I have, I have a lot of perception. Well, it's not hard to strip a guy naked and look for all his shit in his, you know, body. You know? Oh, true. Bend over and cough. Yeah, basically spread okay. your cheeks and cough. So, Varenex, you search the body and you find, uh, if you go to the equipment sheet, you will find a number of items as added. He has he had a number of arrows, a composite short bow, a ring of some sort, cool, put masterwork on. thieves tools, oh. masterwork flute, a pair of silver earrings. Oh, uh, six pouches of gold dust, eight pouches of silver dust, and in his possession was a journal that I shall now share with you. Uh, Does he have any keys? Fair next. Fucking doors. And a and a, uh, no, he does not have keys on him. Okay, then I'll break the door down. <laughs> it was on the ring. Yeah, well, I'm, gonna, I'm, just gonna put, I'm just gonna put the ring. I'm down. the one who can identify it. I'm just gonna put the ring on and see what happens. <laughs> no, bad idea. I can identify those kind of things. <laughs> So what it's like my job. Here, I, I don't have to detect magic prepared today, but... <laughs> so wait, All right, try to break down the door. Oh, snap, bitches. <laughs> this is a door that does not it's survive. It's a minus one, I did a minus. I'm sorry, it was a plus yes, five. You... All right, so you break down the door. Uh, Varenex, I sent, uh, I shared a link to you of a journal. Amico! <laughs> All right, so you open this door and you find... That Suto had changed the storage room into a prison. Uh, the sister Amiko lies on her side on the floor in here, bound at the wrist and ankles with rope, and blindfolded and gagged with strips of leather. I'm gonna undo all that. All right, you run up to and attend to her. She is quite injured. Rico, Rico, get over here. Uh, let's see. She is currently unconscious. 
Oh, Veronix, I sent the link to you on Drive. Rico, she's yeah, not. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. Rico. I'm gonna make Rico come over All here. All right, and do so yeah, uh, you uh, you keep on nudging. She ha eventually she wakes up a little. And, uh, oh. you get the blindfolds off. She is quite injured, but she'll be able to get up. Okay. Um, okay, I'll throw probably a, have to tend I'll, to whatever. A fireman carrier out of here. But I. Uh, <laughs> what what's what's wrong? Hey. What's going on? Where where'd you how'd you find me? Magic. Now shush, girl. I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna fireman carry her out of there and make, you know, Johnny pick up douchebag on the ground and, you know, bring him with us. <laughs> I'm gonna hog tie that motherfucker. Squeal like a pig. All right. Do you wish the report uh, the get back up to the surface of the town? Maybe take her to the chapel. Uh, sure. I was fireman carrier the whole way. <clears throat> Bloop. Hey. Okay. Look at that. So, uh, she's grabbed and taken out of and taken out of there. I'm gonna lay down. You also grabs. I'm gonna sit on the pew or whatever. Some sit somewhere and just chillax because getting stabbed and kicked it's not very fun. Amiko is escorted to the hospital, uh, or escorted to the chapel where the fa Father Xantis begins attending to her wounds. And uh, she sees her brother and sees that he, she's breathing. And as he, as he goes by, she, she looks at him and it's like, pity. Pity what? That he's alive. Well, I figured he'd have some good information. That's just creepy. So you do want to share uh, you there, Varenex? Uh, we've got big problems, like demonic and devil problems. Oh now. shit! Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to summon something. Who is trying to summon bad. something? Uh, the guy that we should probably stab to death. <laughs> Roll. You know, uh, I think you called it. <laughs> what? Roll knowledge local. Me? Oh, okay. I can't do it on track. There we go. D28 plus 10. Alrighty. Do I know anything? Uh, well, your suspicions are correct. You recognize uh, the per you recognize the image, the face in the images. Oh, really? Yeah. Who is it? I don't know. He hasn't told me. No, told I, I, I thought you, you. No, you hinted at what it was, and I agreed with you. Oh, so that is uh, Father Tobin's adopted daughter. Yep. That's what I thought because it says celestial taint, and I thought, oh, hey, Azamar. <laughs> hey, isn't that something? You were right. She is alive. <laughs> Nate, I, I recall uh, Wave saying that's retarded, and saying, why are we wasting our time researching <laughs> about that? <laughs> hey, wait! Smack me upside the head. <laughs> hey, wait! I'm ready. I'm ready for your apology now. Wait! This looks sheepishly at his shoes. Hey, wait! I'm right, and you're wrong. Guess you guess who's buying the, 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 the devil, isn't it? <laughs> guess who's guess who's buying the uh, Veronex, do you share? I only shared it with you. Are you sharing the journal with everyone? Yes. I'm going to share the journal All with everyone right. so that, that way they can read it for themselves. Like, it's uh, another interesting read. Sometimes the craziest idea is the right idea. I called it. The dude with the wrench in the parlor. Game. Match. Set. <laughs> and it looks like there's something even worse going on in the glassworks. We should probably seal that tunnel. <laughs> Or oh. something. Or we can before they invade via the tunnel. <laughs> oh. So we shouldn't go through the tunnel? We should... Well... Everyone should have the note shared with them. I think we should eventually go through the tunnel, but not right now because we're supposed to protect the town. It's in the handouts. Oh, it's in the drive or something? 
Okay, where is he? There we go. Maybe. Uh, Almost a winning. I see. Hmm. Tasuto notes. This guy's a dick, and he sucks at drawing. Those wings are so not real. Who's La Mesh Lama Shutu? Lord religion person. Who's Lama Shutu? We don't have any more knowledge of religion. I have knowledge of planes, though, which would probably be just as good in the situation, since these all sound like outsiders. My love's too distracted with the lower chambers to make enough. a decision. That sounds like a bad romance novel. Who's Rip Nugget? Sounds like a goblin or something. I think it was. I think it was one of the... One of the heroes or something, the way he was talking about? Yeah. Poop Nugget. Well, you're in the chapel. Do I recognize any of the names as being outsiders? Ooh, there's a bug uh, bear. That's pretty cool. Less so on religion, but planes... Hmm. Yes, yeah, so with do, doing this, Lamashtu would not be a name I'm really unfamiliar. Lamashtu is a famous... Lamashtu is the mother and patroness of many misshapen and malformed creatures that claw, crawl, slither, or flap on above or below the surface of Galarian. Her unholy symbol is a three-eyed jackal head. Sweet. She is the demon queen, mother of monsters, demon mother, mother of beasts, mother of demons, mother of perversion, mistress of insanity, grandmother nightmare. She sounds like a nice lady. She's a chaotic evil god who, uh, who lives in the... Uh, uh, the largest layer of the abyss. So this dude, like, Tasuto, mm. like, worshipped the person? That's I understand why they keep trying to burn it. That's probably a Bunch question when you, like, ask him, you know, when he wakes up. Uh, How any... about Malfish... Is... Do we have, like, a... Malfish Knorr. Malfish Yeah, dark. That is not a name that... No, that is not a name to be recognized. Nuts. Maybe we, I don't think this guy's gonna be too cooperative with us because his drawings suck. So we should get like a charm person or something, like spell or something. Is that one of the ones you can do, Varynex? Well, let me check the level on it. Yeah, we can probably buy a scroll of it, hopefully. Okay. You could buy a scroll of it. This, uh, the ability of act. Got, you could buy a scroll of it. Uh, learn the spell, then save up your level one spells and try and cast it on them. However, uh, the issue with that is it will take many tries. As a Suto, with his background, with his background as a monk, have a high will save. What if we, what if we waterboard him a bunch beforehand? Uh, that gives him a plus five bonus to a saving throw. <laughs> so no. What if what if I what if Nathan just seduces him? Right. <laughs> How about would the be girl your, of the party seduces the guy? What would be your DC on that? Um. If you Probably a fought the spell. Because that's what all my other level 1 spells are, is a DC 15. No, 16. 16 for level 1 spells. In that if I case... somehow set it to fire, I can get it to DC 17. But <laughs> I don't know if I could set him on fire while also casting Charm Person and have it work. 
That'd be he would funny. have a will save 50 50 each mm. time you went to cast it. Well, I could just prepare it five times and do anything else that day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could just take a nap and relax for the day and throw his ass in jail until we're ready to, you know, make him do what we want him to do. Does anybody disagree? All right, so is this a path we want to go down? Yes. So once you buy the scroll and learn the spell from it, uh, Varanex, you'll then need nine hours? Um, probably more than that. I'm looking up the rules on using scrolls to add spells. Well, that's cool, because Nathan, uh, I'm sorry, Waith owes me plenty of mead and... Uh... You know. I have to send an hour studying the spell and then make a spellcraft check. Can I put like a dunce thing on him on Waif? For like. For like, <laughs> like pan tail on the asshole? Because <laughs> I'm right and he was wrong. That's stupid. Why you gotta research? Blah, 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 blah. I can't believe I was right there. That was like amazing. Ah, uh, crud. If I fail, we're not gonna be able to do this very, very quickly because it takes me a week before I can try again, but. Hey, dude. We can keep him alive. Just gotta give him bread and water. I do have a good spellcraft check, so... <laughs> well, that's good. I shouldn't fail it on the first try. Alright, <laughs> so... Thankfully there are wizards in the... There is a wizard in the town. You want to run over to his place, spend 25 gold, and, and get yourself a scroll? Yeah, didn't, didn't you say we had like, sure. like, some like, certain like level of magic stuff that was available here? Like 500 gold threshold or some shit? Uh, that is not an issue for a scroll. So while you're with uh, Suto, who's locked up, and any any attempts to interrogate him will fail, uh, he is too hostile to even be intimidated or coerced into talking. Not even if we set his legs on fire? Nah. Even if he set his legs on fire. Wow. <laughs> what if we chop off his legs? And then set him on fire? I think that works. No, no, cool. we, we chop his legs off and put him in front of him, and then set his legs on fire. So he can... <laughs> Would be very nice. It's not a very neutral good thing to do, huh? Or whatever good I am. Uh... Alright, Varanex goes runs off. What are, Waith and Helga, what will you be doing? Wizards, can I try can I try to uh buy the privilege of trying to copy right out of their spell book? In most cases, wizards charge a fee for the privilege of copying spells from a spell book. The fee is usually equal to half the cost to write a spell into the spell book. Which in this case would only be five gold because it's a level one spell. If it's half the cost, no, 25 um, and a half. Only so... if I buy the scroll. If I buy the scroll, it's 25. But if I ask the person who's a wizard who's in charge of the store if I can copy a charm person out of their spell book, it would only be 5 gold. Uh, it costs plus 10 gold to write it. You're saving 10 gold. Thrifty, thrifty. Yeah. <clears throat> if, the, if the wizard in charge of the store will let me and has the spell in their spell book. Okay. Um, yeah, if you if you can tell me what the wizard's name is, why don't you ask him first? Hey, what's your name, bro? You what met you the doing? wizard once, dude. I don't know. I can't even remember yesterday, let alone last week. Wait, the guy in charge of the bookstore is a wizard? No, not the person who was in charge, but the the really? person who from the academy that was uh, one of the people in attendance. Not the owner, nor Broder Quink were wizards, but there was a third person there that was a wizard. Yeah. He looked, he looked you up and down, noting your wizard duty, and commented to you. Oh yeah, I'm terrible. So at I'm gonna, names. I'm gonna say you <laughs> yeah. have to build up a friendship. I'm gonna say because you didn't know who the wizard was, you do not have that rapport with him this time. All same, right, then I need thirty-five gold. Okay. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. 25 for the spell, 10 for the... It costs 10 to write it in. He's got a copy into his book. You need special ink and stuff. Oh. It costs money to scribe a scroll. Or scribe money. Describe you have, spell. You have 35 gold on you. Want me to take it off real quick? Yep. And give me one scroll Alrighty. of charm person. So basically, if it fails, we still have the scroll. I'm going to have like Doesn't the guard people burns. in town like double the guard on him. And then I'm going to go make Nathan buy me a bunch of alcohol. 
and dinner and stuff. Maybe even a dress. Because... So what are we going <laughs> to... Alright, added it to, right, to your inventory. Right. Scroll of charm person. Make your cast. Make your spell. Cra okay, so you guys go off to the bar. Yes, I have the spell now. The DC would be 16 because it's 15 plus the spell's level. Really? That's so I spend one hour studying the scroll and then scribe it. So I no longer have the scroll, and I down 35 gold, but I do have the spell permanently now. Sweet. Do you still have the scroll? No, I don't. It but burns from the scroll when copying from a scroll. Oh, nice. No shit. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, I, I know the rules of my... I always study the rules of my classes when I play them. Hard. <laughs> you said hard. Okay, so Varanax, you need an 8-hour break and then 15 minutes to set it into your spell slot. Yep. And instead of filling up all your level 1 spell slots with it, I would just take 15 minutes, fill the one, and if that doesn't work, fill another, take a 15-minute break, come back each time. Sounds like a plan. Because if you get attacked and you have five cast of charm person... <laughs> I'll make them fight each other! Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'll do! Hey, uh, okay, all right. uh, I'm going to make spells for <laughs> one charm person. There we go. So free booze. I'm going to make Nathan buy me some clothes or some shoes or something. And then I'm going to go make sure Ami uh, Amiko is okay. Okay, so what are we doing with this tunnel? Blocking it for now. We should collapse it. Why? We want to use it. I don't. I mean, obviously it goes somewhere important. So <laughs> it's like a drug tunnel, man. We got to keep it open. So well, he's, do you want to go see where the tunnel goes? No. I don't. Not right now. I'm. T I, I got no more rage, man. So I need to like lay off combat for a while. <laughs> like rest of the day. Sneak. I could sneak and then just run if they find me. Okay, you go do that. I'll wait for you to buy me alcohol. See, see what kind of clothes you can buy me. I'm going to go look through the equipment. <laughs> All right, you're going to go look through. How much is this bet worth? Maybe we should just transfer the gold now. It wasn't worth <laughs> anything, but I'm just going to rub it in his face until he, like... You know. I know. Maybe Waith wants to uh, transfer some money to you just out of, like, admitting that he was wrong. All you guys are like, blah, 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 it's stupid. Wait, you want to go look at the tunnel? Yep. All right, so now we're all split off. Uh, everyone keep an eye on the chat. Everyone but Wait, take off their headset. Oh. And then I'll message you guys. I'll put up a message that, like, a, a message for you guys to come on in and come back. This is Wait only. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hangouts plug in mute. All right, Wait. Where are you? Uh, by the way, I want to grab a couple of guards and be like, hey, can you just watch the entrance in case something really bad happens? Okay, so you descend back into the tunnel uh, at uh, through the glassworks and into the tunnels, which were smuggler's tunnels at one point. You go to... Remember when I mentioned Varanex found that tunnel? Or a, a tunnel leading somewhere in the glassworks? All right, so they stand guard at the door. You come up to the tunnel. It's a long tunnel leading uh, from the uh, from this room, and it winds for some distance through the bedrock below Sandpoint. As you as you go through it, it seems that it was built decades uh, 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 decades ago and uh, hasn't been used for some time. It's stable and serviceable as it winds slowly northeast for. Uh, for just over 1,715 feet. Uh, roll a perception check. Oh, wow. I'm not very perceptive. Okay. So imagine you come to a, a fork with three... So as you descend in the tunnel, you have a, a torch, I assume, right? You descend into the tunnel. You see, after traveling a short distance, you find it branches into three paths. A left, a middle, and a right path. Now, 
uh, the uh, the main the main path seems to keep on going straight. However, on the right, uh, there's a right side tunnel that you can go down, and then if you look to the left, you see it's the tunnel to the west as you keep track of directions. It seems to have once been bricked over at the point where it diverges from the main tunnel. Uh, I'm going to go to into the left one. You go into the left one? Yeah. Okay, so as you continue down this uh, tunnel, it's, it winds for about 50 feet, and then it turns north for another 100 feet. Do you want to keep on going? Uh, when you make the turn, do you want to keep on going? Uh... I'm going to stop and look around carefully or see if I smell anything different or anything's different. Okay. Yeah, uh, roll a perception check. I'm starting to get like nervous about this. this is... go. Hmm. You don't really see uh, your idea of like trying to like figure out more of what is down there doesn't we do anything. All right, I start moving slow, more slowly and carefully. I guess quietly, just in case. All righty. So as you come through, uh, you see, uh, it, um, it's uh, still a cave tunnel. Uh, you see that it goes forward some feet, but then like a branch, like a cave mouth uh, to your right. All right, I'm gonna. Do I hear anything from the cave mouth? Or hear like, oh, so like outside, or can I see the outside from right there? Or... Do you have your torch? Uh, yeah. Okay, I guess you can. Uh... What are you doing again? Um, I'm trying to figure out if that's the cave mouth. So I'm trying to see if like the errors smells fresher from that direction or if uh, I hear any wind blowing from that direction or if I hear the game outside like animals or something crickets do you take a look uh, yeah I'll take a look if I don't hear see or smell anything I uh, roll a perception nothing so you take a look as you uh, as you write the torch, you see a creature standing there. I sent you a link. Okay, does it see me? It looks at uh, looks at you. It seems uh, as you're shining the torch, it seems to have no issue in the dark. Okay, I am going. Okay. Oh, I have knowledge to engineer. Can I do that? Uh, yeah, you can take a half second to try and do a knowledge to engineering check. Or, um, you can always do the knowledge to engineering anywhere. Thank you. you know nothing. Okay, I'm going to run. You're going to run out? Yeah, I'm going to run back away. Uh, yeah. You take a run. You hear it uh, as you uh, go as full as fast as you can. You hear its feet coming up behind you, but then at some point uh, around the mouth of that cave entrance, it stops, and you're just left with your uh, silence as you run away. As you run up the cave with your torch burning, you come back to the fork in the road. Okay, I'm gonna stand there for like I would say about five minutes and see if I hear it anymore. You hear nothing. All right, I'm going to be super brave, and I'm going to go down the uh, middle one now. The middle one? Yeah. All right, how far? This tunnel, you keep on going down, and this one seems to stretch for some time. Do, are you going to keep on going until you find the end? Yeah, until I find something. Or how long? Or give a time. Jill, search. I would say like an hour before I'm just like... All right, so as you keep on going down this tunnel, I mean, you're able to make progress... Uh, through the dark with your torch, you find out that it reaches a uh, 
Um, uh, you find a, a secret door, and then as you uh, just uh, for smugglers, as you open it, it's, it opens into a 30-foot diameter cave on the side of the cliff overlooking the Varician Gulf. And there's no, is there, sorry, go ahead. The cave mouth slopes down to like uh, to a narrow beach. Uh, and here you, uh, it doesn't take, uh, you're able to see that uh, uh, on the beach below, there's a crude collection of goblin beds or remnants of their meal, meals strewn about the cave. So they're gone? So in this cave, so yeah, they're gone. These were the goblins I raided Sandpoint. That are mostly dead, and also the goblins that reached the glassworks. All right, sorry. I, it's obvious that the that no one's touched this since that raid or this since the glasswork. Well, or yes, but the glassworks well. was yesterday. Oh, okay. Or no, glassworks was today. So. All right, I'm gonna burn these tents, I guess. Just to going to do what? You said there's a tents and like uh, gear and stuff. And beds, yes. I'm gonna burn, burn it. Alrighty, you set it on fire, and probably if anyone looks northeast from Verisha, they'll see the smoke uh, uh, over the uh, from the cliff. As Verisha, our uh, sandpoint over as sits on like a bluff, and then there's cliffs leading down to the ocean. So you burn it. Alright, I'm gonna go straight back. So do, is it obvious where I was, like, where I came out on it? Like, do I know the train enough where I know the hell where I was, or...? You, no, you wouldn't be this familiar with Sandpoint, but um, if you look at the map of Sandpoint, you'll see that the north side that uh, is on, on the water is actually, like, on a cliff side. So it could probably be opened anywhere along there. Not, not near Sandpoint. It traveled for some distance, so it's probably to the northeast of the city, but... I'm going to go straight back in that case then, since I don't know the lay of the land. Um, so I'm going to go straight back up to where the, uh, you know, the entrance of the tunnel is, past the fork and all that. All right, did you want to see the third fork? Um, no, I need to, well, I don't know how far, in, how many how many minutes is the fork into the tunnel? Is like just a couple minutes or? Yes, just a couple minutes. Okay, I'm going to go tell... Um, I'm gonna run up and go tell the guards that to go send somebody to look for the smoke and so they can mark that location on the map because it might be important later on. As you go up there, uh, they like, it's like, "We'll do, sir," and they leave the glassworks, the glassworks to go do it. Okay. Well, um, before they, I'm like, wait, before they leave, if if you could bring a couple guards back here, I saw a creature down here. This this tunnel, the entrance needs to be guarded 24/7. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, though you're running out of guards at this point because there aren't many Sandpoint guards, and a few were taken by, um, a few were taken by Sheriff Hemlock down to Magnamar to find uh, the uh, re recruited army. There's still a few days out, but that should that will pretty much tax the force between the two guarding suit, uh, the two guarding this tunnel. And then, like whoever else, you 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 guys are at the limit of guards at the point at this point. Okay, that's fine. This is important. Okay. All right, so you um, can back up. The, yeah, then I go back. Or no, yeah, I go back and check the third fort. Say again. I want to go check out the third fort in the road or in the tunnel. All right, you just sitting back in the tunnel. Uh, the third fork. Um. It, lead, it leads east for about 400 feet, but then it uh, just comes to a collapsed end. Nothing, uh, a rock collapse. Whoever was digging it did not do uh, do it right. Probably smugglers at some point in a failed operation. But Okay. All right. Well, that's that. I'll come back and try to find somebody to talk to. You. I don't know what time it is because I've probably been searching for a couple of hours. Yeah, maybe a couple or just an hour. So you return to the, you return to the village. Yeah. All right, Veronex is sleeping. Uh, I right, let me get everyone back on.
We're a news team now? Why do you see Maker now? All right, so wait, you are, are Fairnex, I assume you're sleeping? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was rest, refresh my spell slot, so. Yeah, I'm not waking up because I don't want to mess that up. This is late till morning. Where's the mic? Ten, at least. Helgas are up, I'll tell Helga. Mike. Helga. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? Hi. Okay, so it's uh. been a couple hours, right? Yes. It's the middle of the night, though? Uh, no, it would be day. Hey, Taylor, I got a quick You question. went to the... Go ahead. Taylor? What? Hey, how do you add archetypes in PC Gen? Oh, uh... Feats and abilities... Archetype. Oh, okay, I see, thanks. Yep. PC Gen is a fairly useful one, yes. Just having a backup. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm back. So Varenex is sleeping in the middle of the day? Yes. Alright. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to bother Varenex. I'm going to go find Helga. Helga, are you, were you resting too? Or? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, why not? I'm assuming you can be disturbed in Varenex camp. Wait, would that mess up your... Rage recharging or something? No, it just goes at midnight magically, it comes back. Or whenever. Alrighty. <laughs> I, I, uh, wait, wait, first I go to the bar and grab a, a couple mugs of mead. Yep. Then, I uh, don't drink. think it comes back like that. I don't know when it comes back, it just comes back every, every day. Whatever, this I, don't to, I don't have to pray, I don't have to rest, I don't have to freaking do anything. I don't <laughs> it's re yes, it is. It's renewed after resting eight hours. Okay. Whatevs. Is having a mug of mead, you know, laying down or sitting or something? That's rest. That, rest? Sure, that would not? count, yes. I think even that counts for Veronix, maybe? I don't know. I guess so. Well, can many you just say that it does? I've done much study and which involved resting with alcohol, chillaxing. <laughs> For the sake of uh, role playing or gameplay. I, I actually have to sleep. On. I don't know. Huh? Oh, you actually have to sleep. So he's fully yeah, on just... sleeping. But... All right. Yeah. I, don't I think know. barbarians just have to rest. Yeah, we're just chilling. Yes. Or I'll tell you both this and pretend that I just tell him when he's done sleeping. All right, so I br yeah, I knock on your door and I bring the mug of mead. Hey. Hey, yeah, hey, uh, Here's your, uh, you know, your whatever reward for being right or whatever. No, oh, trust me, I'm not letting you go on that just for a mug of, you know, ale or mead. So you're getting out of me, but oh, anyways, yeah. I have important, important news. So I explored that tunnel. It uh, it works off into three passageways. Um, one on the left, um, it looked like it had a, uh, it was like bricked up and then someone smashed through it and I, uh, I followed it for a while and I found a cave entrance. I think it might have led outside and I saw this horrifying creature, uh, there, with super long arms and claws and it just looked like this, I can't even describe it, it's this demonic looking thing. Can I... Is that a good enough of a description to show him the picture? Or have him no. The picture? <laughs> don't, yeah. don't click on the picture then. All right. Um, it's this horrifying thing. Uh, so I ran because I didn't know what it was and how strong it was. And it eventually stopped following me. So I uh, I followed the, the middle tunnel, and that led an extremely long way until I uh, – oh, man. I'm forgetting what falls down there. Oh, yeah, and then I found um, uh, it, it came out um, out of the side of a cliff. Um, looks like just a, I don't know, a couple miles up the beach um, on the side of the cliff, and I found uh, the remnants of the attack uh, where they staged the attack on the uh, the, ra the first raid and then the uh, um, all the goblins and the glass work. So I burned it, and I sent a few guards to go 
investigate where the uh, exit is, just in case it's important later on. And then, yeah, the third tunnel was just collapsed. There's nothing there. All right. So, yeah. So, demon, the, the left-hand tunnel, whatever the hell that thing was, and then uh, the raid, the first tunnel, or the middle tunnel. So, yeah, I posted some guards, and I told them we need to guard that exit 24-7 because of that creature that was in there. Good call. He ran away. Yeah, because I didn't know he killed. Yeah, dying's not usually a good thing. Alright, so. So, are we, everyone just gonna rest? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna rest up Then this. we're gonna interrogate the guy with the charm thing. Okay, so, Veronex, you awake and study and have your, and have a spot informed. Does everyone wanna go talk to Suto? I'm gonna go talk to Miko first to make sure, she, see how she's doing. Same. Cause she just got yeah. the shit beat out of her. She, yeah, she might right. You actually don't have to go far. She's already returned to, uh, she's the Rusty Dragon while the front is closed. I mean, uh, people who have rooms are allowed to go, but she's closed down the restaurant for lunch and dinner. And she's just sitting in a booth down there recuperating. Hey. Uh, she just goes out and like, oh. Uh, thank you for saving my life. I, uh, I guess three rooms for life at this point. For life? Good deal. Well, but I'm more worried about you. Are you all right? Let's see. Uh, you know, it's. I, I'm sorry, but I just don't have my uh, normal sense of humor about me right now. But uh, I'll be fine. Okay. Do you? Uh, did you know what's going on here? No, I, I came in. I went at midnight to uh, find my brother. He sent me a note, and yeah, I saw, saw my father was dead. <laughs> we saw that too. He asked me. Uh, he asked me a chance to. He told me that. Uh, yeah, he was read by a uh, uh, young girl who used to live in this town. I, I knew when I was a child, and. That they, uh, she had big plans for Sandpoint, and that if I, it would be in my interest to leave town, and that I should travel with him to Thistletop. And, uh, he was gonna, he's, he wants to kill everyone here. So I, I, I told, I told him no, it's that's disgusting, and I slapped him, and then that's when I, I was attacked by a bunch of goblins, and he confined me. I had no, I, I don't know what he was gonna do. Well, you're safe now. He's in jail, and we're gonna. We'll have a conversation with him shortly. Okay, before we... By the way, I want to say something before we leave her. But go ahead. She's like, uh, my father's dead. My mother died five years ago. And, and Suto is... I'm sure we'll have the axe put to him. Well, not right away, you won't. Yeah, we need some information It is of no matter. She looks at you though. Like, um, so I, you know, and I fill her in on the situation with the tunnels and all that there. All the details. So she isn't big on it. Ah, uh, no, he, he mentioned nothing about anything being below in the tunnels. sucks she, as she was at you I think I'm gonna go to bed now it's been a long day okay all right you follow me go later free room board for life woo all right so you go to Suto yeah we're going to go have a chat with him. Suto. He's unsuitable. <laughs> All right. 
So, Varen, uh, the four of you gather in the room where uh, he is being held. Uh, torches are being lit. So you can see down here, uh, see where he's uh, imprisoned. Oh, he actually gets a bigger save because him being half elf, as Waith would know, he, he has extra resistance to this thing. So we want to cast this. Yep. All right. So it just has a verbal and semantic component, and you can do it at range. He gets a will save. He saves. <laughs> Come back in. He comes back in fifteen. He spits at the ground as you enter. Let me try again. Ah, <laughs> uh, two. Wow. Three. Oh. So if you burn up your four spell slots to do this, you spend an oh. hour trying to get them to talk. <laughs> How many spell slots does that leave you at level one? One. <laughs> it's like, God. <laughs> hey, it worked, and now we have two hours. Well, I have two hours to question him. No one else can question him because it only works for me. Oh. Okay, I'll leave you a list of questions to ask. Because it's like, ah, oh, wizard. As Suto is like, he looks at you and he has a smile on his face. I Hi. Strangely like you. Hey, Suto. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, this things do not seem to be going to um, New Year's pl New Alia's plan. Ah, things oftentimes can go awry, but you know, I think we can pull them back. Oh. Yeah. I think that I think that we can still succeed. Oh. What can I do for you? Well, I think we need to go over what the plan was again so that we can make the changes necessary. Like ah. And I was like, ah, new yeah, she new all yeah, she's a true beauty. Oh, she's quite, uh, she's, well, they're not mustering at Thistletop, but she's planning, uh, she has big plans at Thistletop. Hmm. And the plan was to attack she, from the river and from the glassworks, right? From the smuggling tunnels? Uh, and put the town yes, to the she, torch and sacrifice it to the great Lama Suto? Well, yes. Uh, she plans to sacrifice, uh, Sandpoint as a burning sacrifice to Lamashtu in return for a transformation. Okay. She'll, she shall no longer be the angelic. She shall truly become the demonic. She's already <laughs> begun. Uh, when she burnt her father's remains, Hawamashtu uh, gave her a gift. Hmm. Why then take the body again? Oh. She went, uh, well, she set fire to the chapel uh, and killed him years ago. But she, uh, when she burned his bones, uh, well, Mashtu, uh, gave her daughter, uh, gave her daughter a reward. Ah, that's right, that's right. The gift that keeps giving. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have any questions they want to ask him, or have me ask him? What is your favorite? When, when, uh, what is it back? Alright, when was the original attack planned? When we were going to do it before our plans were dashed by those fools. Oh, that was just to gather the bones. The, the other attack is coming as soon as she's... She says she still needs some more time. She's trying, uh, she needs to... She meant she keeps on mentioning a monster named Malfashenkar. You don't know who that is either. What was that? You don't know who that is either. I have no idea. She says it's somewhere. Uh, it's imprisoned somewhere below Thistletop. Mm. She says that releasing and recruiting it will make the coming raid on Sandpoint a guaranteed success. Ah. Nasty and goal of all of this, isn't it? The burning of Sandpoint, sacrifice to Lamashutu's, fi Lamashutu's fires. Lamashtu. Lamashtu. <laughs> My character would pronounce it correctly, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have another question if you want to ask for me. Um, what um, what other minions do they have? I'm trying to figure out what that monster is. 
What works beneath the glassworks? Have you recruited anything else to your cause besides the goblins? Oh, I mean, like, that is, uh, what, I don't know, I, I know very little about what's below the glassworks. I know, Nuya busted that wall down a couple years ago. But yes, I know, I know what's below the, I, I have an idea what's below the glassworks. New Alia says that is, that is where her pastor lives. Creepy. Okay. <laughs> Can we get a better description out of them what these things are? I don't think so. My character can put two it's and like, two together and uh, say it's what, demonic. What's below? He goes on. It's like what's below Sandpoint? Not part of the main up. Uh, it's not powerful enough to be part of the main assault. But Nuelia has plans for what's below her and her pastor. Oh, how about this? In a fight between a goblin and one of the minions, who would win? <laughs> who's who's her pastor again? I'm guessing. Wait, the the creature that you saw and ran from was behind the knocked out section, right? Yeah. All right, that's her pastor as a demon. Oh, well, shit. I'm trying to figure out how strong this thing is, so can we ask him, like, how, what would win in a fight in the goblin, or how many goblins it would take to kill that thing? Who'd win in a fight? <laughs> how many goblins, goblins would it take would to you... kill that thing? <laughs> how many goblins yeah. would it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> how many goblins does it take to light a lamp torch? <laughs> Keep in mind, it's not necessarily the main threat you have to worry about, because she's mustering an army of goblins, but... Uh, let's see. Roughly speaking, it would take. He's like, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I don't know much about the creatures below, and goblins are so weak. Four and a half goblins. Uh, uh, three. three? <laughs> Two and a half. <laughs> we can totally dig in. I'm like, okay, I'm out of questions. Any questions you guys can dig up? Your father built the glassworks, didn't he? Her father did build the glassworks, yes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. The Nualia's or Suto's father? Suto's father did, and Amigo's father. Right. So your father built the glassworks. Did he so also build the smuggling tunnels underneath? He has anything. Like, no. Well, my father didn't build it. Uh, a generation before him built the glassworks. Mm. And you no, know, uh, smugglers, uh, who were, people who worked in the glassworks, dug the tunnels. I hear, mm. I heard story. There was a story about 40 years ago. Uh, it's, it's kept in a notes belonging to my grandfather, but um, they were digging in the tunnel and they found something. And when they saw it, they bricked it off. Hence the demon thing. Hmm. Who, who's his mother? Does he know? Does Suta know his mother? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Is she, is, is she, you said it was his, her, Amiko's half-brother. Which half do they share? Same mother or same father? We share a father. Oh, ah. So who's the All mommy? Right. I just want to know. I was like, I don't know, my mother, just someone who came, uh, some elf maiden who worked, uh, who worked for the family. Uh, the old classic screwing the maid. <laughs> or the secretary or whatever stereotype yeah. you want to do. But as you're going, it's like, uh, I, no, my real mother, my, the person I, my true mother was, uh, uh, Amiko and I shared, and she was a great woman until Anjuku pushed her off that cliff. Whoa! What a wow, why isn't he? Well, why wasn't he in jail for that? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, no, never. Five years ago, when he pushed her off the cliff, everyone thought, uh, everyone thought it was an accident. As we were on the bluffs, and my mother had issues, but uh, I, he never knew that I knew. But I got my revenge on him by putting him in glass. 
my you mean the work of art it was I don't think anything that come out of comes out of the glass works will top that well okay oh someone's gonna need some therapy can, can we use charm person to like have him attack the demon thing with us no that'd be pretty cool it doesn't really work that way <laughs> There will be duration issues at that point. No, we just run that out. too! <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I don't need more questions. Yeah. Going to jail, buddy. You're going to federal pound me in the butt prison. Oh, it's been eight, year, eight hours. You hear outside of the building screaming and shrieking. Yeah. And a pounding of metal on metal. Oh dear. It appears no, I have that's... other pressing issues to take care of now, too. So, but... No, that's just Johnny Rico. Oh, that's just... <laughs> okay. He has to recover his spells per day. <laughs> yes, he's screaming about like, how awesome he is Problem and solved. stuff. <laughs> so, did, does anyone else have anything to ask? What is your favorite color? No. What is your name? What is your quest? I what? think, though, that you're going to want to recover for another eight hours, right? Probably. Yeah. It next. would be very, very useful for me to take another nap. <laughs> After casting Charm Person four times, my character is a bit tired. Spell casting takes the bit out of him. But, so, anyone else have any questions? Um, yeah, my question is, how is he gonna like prison for the rest of his life? <laughs> Probably just gonna get. Or they're gonna. Kill he's gonna him. get executed. There's, there's no chance of him surviving. We don't want to this guy out. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's. Can we catch? Can we schedule that for like immediately? <sighs> no, no one else has any more. Most definitely. I mean. He, he hasn't exactly committed a crime. Besides killing his father and... Uh... No, his outright, no outright, it's outright pillaging at this point. Yeah, okay. We can hang him. Let's go hang him. Let's have a public hanging. Well then, so... Nice chatting with you. It was nice <laughs> knowing you. And I just wanted to say one last thing, my friend. You are one sick twisted fool, and I am going to enjoy watching you burn! And with that, I walk out. The arm person broke. And he's like, <laughs> when I think about... My friend no longer me. likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. No longer charmed. Well, he's probably ten so times this every... now, because he knows he was charmed, and then he spilled everything! <laughs> So, you wish to descend further into the glassworks? Or After descend into the glass? So I can hours? have something besides four expended charm persons, please? I think we should, like, <laughs> wait for, like, the dude to get back with the dudes. Because we're supposed to, like, guard Sandpoint. We're gonna uh, given the threat down. below, probably not a good wait on time. Oh. Okay. Are we gonna wait for me to take another nap? <laughs> I think you can wait on that, but you couldn't wait the couple more, the few more days for whatever is going on, who, whatever is going on in the Smuggler's Tunnels. Okay, let's go. Rest. What if it can, it might come out? Well, and then I'm pretty sure that it, whatever's down there could probably slaughter the two guards guarding the door. They don't know that, but <laughs> they're red shirts. Well, I don't know, brain. Mm. Uh... And magic missile, magic missile, magic missile. One burning hands, one major armor, three magic missiles. Okay, we're good, let's go. <laughs> I have prepared Alright, so you rest for nine hours. Well, rest for eight hours and study for one, close enough. But yes, another nine hours passes. Alright. Uh, so, Helga and Waith, what will you do with your time? I'm gonna go look for property. No. <laughs> I'm gonna sharpen my sword. I wonder if the, the glass works is for sale. <laughs> and they can't like, they can't try to like some like oh well I heard there's a bunch of murders that happened here so uh, why don't we drop that real estate price a little bit huh? It may be interesting as uh, that might be property that ends up belonging to um... Amico. Isn't Amico yeah, so inherit like everything now because her mother is dead, her half brother is in jail, and probably going to be executed for allowing goblins in and committing a raid against the town? And her father has been encased in glass. Yeah, so he gets like that. She gets like the house and like the glassworks. 
She owns, so she owns the glasswork, the house, and the rusty dragon. She is now one rich little woman. Oh, dude, she's got a sweet house. And she's probably and her, depressed. And her she dad's not gonna fuck with her no more. <laughs> oh yeah, her dad's not gonna be grabbing her hair anymore. <laughs> Unless somebody breaks the glass and... The bad part is, she just has no family. Yeah. But consider the fact that her family was completely made of dicks. Except yeah. for her mother. Well, which is too bad, but... Yeah, and she took a jump off the cliff. Well, uh, well, yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna look around for property around Sandpoint. Okay, so you'll look around. Um, so this would be at 16 hours from morning, or actually several more. Th so it will be late at night, almost the next day. But given that you will be descending into a cavern. It, ma it matters not what time you travel there. Okay. Are you ready to see what is... Are you ready to descend? And face the demon thing? You go down to the glassworks. The two guards are, sa are standing there, and they're like, Hey, what are we standing guard against? You don't want to know. Uh, two or three goblins. Something that would have killed both of you. Now, I'm sure they, pretty sure they could handle a couple more. Goblins, you, know? <laughs> you might want to just go ahead and uh, make sure nothing bad comes out. If anything bad comes out, we will, ma'am. We're uh, grateful you're here. Me too. You know any houses that are for sale? Anyways. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna open up. Houses are not business. cheap. You can. Open up a Wait, business. before you go down, did anyone want to look at the loot? Well, uh, no one yes, mentioned I, anything about the loot. I don't know. But I need to change out thing? when I changed out my open close uh, cantrip for detect magic. So, and I'm also looking up how to do that. So, oh, what I have it under the lookups tab. I don't got anything. Wait, let's check this equipment thing and see what's going on. Lookups. I, uh, I already took the arrows. Or research, research, sorry. I want the arrows, Yeah, I'm, but I need, I need to change out for detect magic, so I'm going to... Okay, detect magic, spellcraft check. So, let me just double check my spellcraft check bonus, which is 10. So, I'm going to cast detect magic. Take a look at it. Ooh, a flute. And... So, what's important? Well, first of all, I cast a tech magic and look at the ring. Is it magical? All right, so you take a look at the ring. It is quite magical. Nice. Okie dokie. Um, what is it? Spellcraft check. What did you roll? 20, 30. 30. Oh, 30. yeah, that's a... Uh, to Varanex. Ah, fairly common ring of protection plus one. Yeah. What does that do? Give you uh, armor? Yep. Ooh, we can use that. Wait. What's your AC? Mine's 14. <laughs> yeah, you need, it. you need it. Give it to him, please. Well, Alright, so it's a ring of, ring of protection plus one, value 2000. Mm. Are no, you transferring it over? Hold on. Here, I'll transfer it over for you. Okay. Because I have it filled out in the fancy way. Bring a protection plus one. Oh. And get deflection bonus. For f buy for free. Add and close. Wear it. Because like, when I rage, my AC just drops down to nothing. <laughs> yeah, AD AC is so bad. And especially when you're... Isn't power attack? Did anyone could oh, saw it? Yeah, power attack too. We still haven't figured out what this potion is, have we? Yeah, what's this potion? <laughs> It's a new potion. Oh. Alright, I'm going to, um, perception check that next. Hold on. And then there's way more arrows now available. Right. I already took, oh, okay, well, I already took 20 of them, I don't know. There was two separate things of arrows, so I thought it was... Oh, you already did? Okay, so you already did. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll uh, just take all the arrows. My yeah. character sneezes while he's trying to figure out what the potion is. <laughs> Hey, are the silver earrings magical, or are they just silver earrings? 
I take a look. Are they? Uh, so other people, other people check the potion. Uh, they're just earrings. Oh, sweet. I'll put All right. Them on. I'll you put don't them know on. how yeah. you don't know how valuable they are. Like, oh. So you want the earrings? Yeah, I'll put them on. Why not? All right, transfer over the earrings. I don't know how. You don't know the price of them. Yet. Just control X, uh, highlight quantity, and then control X and paste it into yours. Huh? Eh? Like, well, I don't All right, know so crazy. highlight the whole row. I did. Or highlight, highlight and then control the X. Control C. Or control X, yeah. Well, okay, we'll cut it. I control get X to cut you. it. I get you. I get you. All right, does anyone else want to try and figure out what the potion is? I want to appraise the earrings. Go ahead. Hey, how do I, how do I, um, how do I determine what the potion is? Spellcraft? Uh, perception. perception. Oh, that's perception. No. Can I take 20 on it? I'm going to appraise the earrings, <laughs> too. Dead <laughs> nab it! Unfortunately, I'm wasting all my bad rolls on this. Can I take 20 on that? I'm going to roll, like, friggin' 20s for <laughs> hitting things. All right, no, I'll but you could have took... No, so no one has the, knows the value of these damn earrings. But they're pretty. That's fine. Well, she's wearing them anyway right now, so... <laughs> That's pretty. Came off a dead guy. That's cool. It's like I'm, like I'm going through like the Japanese people like during World War II and like pulling their gold teeth off or some shit. <laughs> and then you also have all the dog slicers and goblin leather armor recovered from... I thought we sold all that shit. Place. No, this is from the glassworks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, can we send our mule back to town and have him sell all that shit? <laughs> well, the, the uh, we'll do it. Anyway. What's the uh, plus on it? What's do the what? Know? The plus on the composite. Short bow. Run it, roll on a praise. All right, I will try again. <laughs> what is wrong with my rolls right now? I'll try to praise the. We're all just a bunch of monkeys standing around trying to appraise this stuff. My character is distracted thinking about other things. It's much distracted. Could you use the <laughs> thing floating off of it? Good for a close hanger. Well, you might be able to. Someone should probably carry the short bow with them. I mean, it's useful. Uh, how good do you know how to use a short bow? You should. I should, but I don't need a short bow. Because I'm an up close and personal kind of guy. You'll need a short bow. Why do I need a short bow? Can I, can I rage with a freaking short bow? No, but sometimes there'll be something you have to shoot an arrow at. Alright, fine, I'll take a damn short bow. Alright, I'm gonna give you 40 of my arrows. I want well, 40 arrows, dude. Just 20? Like, 10's fine. Just think of, like, because you don't want to be, like, without a short bow and then, like, something you have to shoot an arrow at because it's across a ravine and... If you can support two pounds and a couple pounds of arrows, you might as well. Eh, why the hell not? I'm not going to add it because I don't know what it is, so. Okay, so we'll leave the short bow here for a while. Everything shall stay at the Rusty Dragon. I mean, I don't even know what it, you know, it is, so I'm going to give it the short bow. What is? Does anyone want to bring a potion they have no clue what? Well, it's a composite short bow. Yeah, if it's a plus three, that'd be awesome because I got plus three strength. You know what? I'll bring the fucking short bow, okay? Alright, I'll give you 10 of my arrows. You sure you don't want 20? No, I don't want 20. Let's wait. What's your light encumbrance level? Don't you have like, isn't it like 60 or 5 or something? 76. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're fine. Where the hell is... Hmm. Okay. So the potion sits there. Just gonna drink it. And I guess there's no other thing. <laughs> Just gonna drink random potions, see what happens. And the potion might have been useful. All right, so we're a lot of things could ready be useful. To... So unless anyone needed wealth to buy anything right now, I guess uh, you guys are ready to descend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? 
All right, so you go past the guards at the glassworks, doubling back to that point. If you hear screaming you coming towards you, uh, open the door, please. <laughs> Waith brings you down to the uh, cavern. You guys should be on the bottom left. Well, uh, left. Uh, Around so, there. Okay. Let's see. Freaking, what's his dick son? Nope. Uh oh. Oh, looks very cavernous. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, Wait leads you down, oh, there and we you go. see that the tunnel continues north and then or east. Um, I figure you guys have lit torches in your off hands. You'll have yeah. to drop them if you use anything that's two handed. Well, as soon as I start raging, I get low light vision, so. So, low light vision, uh, you in this cavern, it is completely black. But when torches hit the ground. <laughs> Which means that wherever you drop the torch, you'll have 40 feet. Why don't we just make the magic guy the torch bearer? Get it? Because <laughs> as I talked about, uh, he has to cast that every minute, and I worry about his sanity. No, he's carry a torch with him. I cast nice. light. Um, I, I'm changing out dancing lights for regular light and cast it on my quarterstaff, so it shines like a torch. I mean, do you need... That, like, that has do a duration of, like, Do you need power. two hands yeah. to, like, you know... To cast magic, you just hold the damn torch the whole time. You're our Statue of Liberty. Oh, he has a corner staff. He has, it's perfect. He's the torch master. Yep, I have a... Uh... Yeah, oh, ten minutes per level and a bag of fireflies. Aha! Nope! I have a shoe materials. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically so that if my stuff gets taken, I can still cast spells. And also, a bit, it's a bit of flavor, because my uh, mother was a sorcerer, so he learned from an early age to not need them. All right, so you're in the cavern. Too. Okay. Hey, you go first, Waze. Oh, yeah, because I, uh, I know the, or I'm not going to trip or something. No, I just don't want to get hit first. That's why sending the archer is a bad idea for that reason. <laughs> archer on point. He's a no, fighter. He's, he's, got, he's, got, he's got hit points. How many hit points Wait. do you have? Wait, this is the tunnel that uh, you saw the thing. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak up there. Like actually sneak. I'm going to go ahead and cast Mage Armor now, because it has a two-hour duration, and I don't think we're going to be down here that long. Yeah. I hope not. Yeah, if we're dying for two hours, man, that sucks. Well, how long were you down here last time, Wait. Uh, two or three hours. But I was no, he was down here for an hour, but not in this part of the cave. So you're rolling a stealth, and you're going to try and stealth up there? Yeah, yeah. you suck. And the complete darkness. Yeah, I'm not bringing a torch. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and burn my mage armor now. Just in case. Alrighty. So go, I guess you can move. That's yeah. where you're gonna move. <laughs> I yeah. think you were seen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see. You're like. <laughs> it's like you're Zoolander trying to, like, you know, do some stealth. Files are in the All computer. Right. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> Son of a gun. Yeah, that's one way of saying it. Yeah, I don't just add me in. Do 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 do. do. Alright, let me bring up turn order. Then add turns. Woo! Quantum roller. I know you like it. Yeah, I like it. Eight. Ampersand. Bracket. Tracker. Your Close mom's bracket. Your mom's an ampersand. Your mother. And enter. Wait, you actually look out and get missed. <laughs> hey. right, let me roll init my initiative. You hear a shrieking and... and Wait, it is what you saw earlier, but... 
All right, I'll have to wait for a moment. Uh, a color, though. Oh, Rico's initiative. Here's the picture of it again. Helga, please keep on controlling. I don't want to I'm, I'm going to show the picture in a bit. I don't oh. want to. I don't want to control no more. Someone control Johnny Rico. Cool. Uh, I don't have his character. Next can do it. Yes, you do. It's on the forum. I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it no more. <sighs> Roll 20. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I'll leave him here Rise for that. The okay. Uh, He's Johnny Rico. All right, so in that case, uh, the, uh, the creature will attack as it has initiative. Are you ready for this waif? And it plus seven, wow. What a noob. Bite minus two. All right. It lashes out. Of it it, Rico. it lashes ready. out with its mouth. Does that. No. Does not hit. And then it slings its two claws. Oh, wow. Hey, and waif survives a miracle. Let me. Descending. Rico's turn. All right, let's see here. What can he do? So, long spear is probably the probably. Oh, he, he is also to... level. Oh, go on. Oh yeah, he is level two. Uh, His character isn't reported as level two. We'll have to. I'll have to talk to him and figure out what's going on. But probably his parents or yeah. something. Family. So with the long spear, can I attack over someone else? Like if I go to here, can yeah. I attack? Yeah, right, you could. He'll move up to there and oh, and see what's behind the corner. Yeah. Uh, roll d twenty torch... plus Wait. four. You gotta see what you're swinging at first. Doesn't know. It's something Makes me happy. Attacking Nathan. <laughs> Some kind of zombie-looking thing. Is it a sin spawn or a sin spawn? <laughs> yeah, sin spawn or sin... it's like pet smart or pet. Smart. <laughs> I think that's kind of the you know, joke. It's on display. You see this foul creature. Rico rolls the attack. Does it hit? Rico fies it. It hits. Okie dokie. Roll 1d8. His god plus is an awesome six. god. <laughs> 11 damage. Alright. Rico kicking this thing's butt. Rico Pico. All right, who's next? Wait. Hey, can I roll like a knowledge planes to see if I know anything about this creature besides? Well, you're not looking at it at this moment, but yes, you could. All right. What, once I can see it, once Varenex can. Damn, I have no way to step anywhere. It's a sin spawn. Wait, can I can I step up against this wall? Uh, do, uh what do you say? Yes. Yeah, why not? Okay, you can step up against that wall. Okay, I step, and then I shoot at it. No, Shannon. Boom. We'll go get some All right, hit. Done. Damn kids. MWC longbow attack. It's like, some, it's like some, it's like some gangster Damage. Lang language. Masterwork composite. I know. Damage. Very next, you're able to see this thing. Pew, seven. That's still alive. Oh, okay, okay. Pew, pew. Very next, your turn. I want to go. Do I know anything about it with a 16? No. You know, it's a sin pawn. Can I go? Alrighty then, well, did that hit his touch AC? Yes. Oh, sad face. Did you burn him? Yeah, I hit him with my little splash. Two damage if it does anything to him. It screams and dies as it falls. A little bit oh, of fire wow. oh, it. It's claws spread out. Oh, I could kill this thing myself. Yeah, you <laughs> ran from the sin pond. run from the sins pawn. It looks scary, alright? Look at the picture of it. I mean, look at that thing. Looks like a sin. And yet it does. It has claws now, on its mouth. It's got claws on its mouth. Well, you know what? You're a vagina. <laughs> We're there, okay? It's dark. Okay, Helga is less of a vagina than you. Alright, so as you go down, you still see that there's more tunnel. Let's make Rico go for in front. 
No, I wouldn't necessarily do that. Rico's still technically level one. No, oh, true. I guess I'll go go for it. Unless you guys got uh, something else you want to do. Can't you use mage armor, by the way? I don't need mage armor. I already have an AC modifier, AC? dude. Yeah, no one else would benefit as from mage armor. Well, Helga, move. I would like to, but I can't see anything. I mean, I got 25 feet right here. So, we need more feetage. Okay, 30 feet. Well, you're not in combat, so you don't have to use... Well, I like to use that kind of movement. So you look down the tunnel. Well, what was in B1, by the way? What was down in B1? Yeah, just a sense right. on. As you look down in B1, it's just a cave. There's nothing at the... As you look, there's nothing down there. There's any poop? Just a cave where the creature was. Okay, on the end, end of the thingy on the left, on the right-hand side, is that like dirt? Or is that from dirt to like cement or something? As you look out that way, you see that the ca uh, cavern opens up uh, into where it appears to be actual construction. Mm. Everyone's free to move their characters as is. Whoa! 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 No, but every single time! Alright. So you look further down into the tunnel. It comes it comes to an end over here. Thanks. And but you see it you see another it dead ends here, but you see another passageway right there. I wanna check out the dead end. Is there anything cool here? No. Just a dead end. Just a dead end? Yeah. That sucks. What's the white stuff in the wall? Uh, it's just uh, a map marking that isn't that doesn't mean anything. Okay. So we did two passages in the other direction. Okay, so Helga jumps ahead Not really. and looks right in back. <laughs> and looks right into this tunnel. So I guess this is the way you're going. Not really, I'm just looking around, man. Alright, uh, reveal doo doo. Wugga wugga choo choo! You, s you see that it actually opens up into a construction of some sort. What's the red looking thing? Looks like a, like a signet ring. I'm about to tell you. Thing where they use like, the stamp with. So it's facing away from you, but you see, uh, it's facing that passageway heading, might, might be east. But a red marble statue of strikingly beautiful, but at the same time, monstrously enraged human woman stands in the middle of this room, her stony expression twisted in fury. The woman wears flowing robes, and her long hair is held back from her face by an intricate headdress of hooks and blades. In her left hand, she carries a large book, the face of which is inscribed with a seven-pointed star. Her right hand holds a glittering metal and ivory rancer. Hey, pretty hot chick, you know. Okay, so I guess, do you guys want to check out the statue? Do we, yeah? Yes. I mean, it's a cool looking statue. I were dealing with knowledge, uh, knowledge claims, knowledge religion. Knowledge everything? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can give me, do knowledge arcana. Or knowledge history. Knowledge history. I don't have that one. Ooh. I think I got that one. Move your characters up to where you guys actually are. Alright. I'm, I'm taking a look at it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> what do I know? Uh, everything? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, you kind of know everything. <laughs> oh, that's you know, here. Yeah, no, oh, not man. 30 on a knowledge check. <laughs> Let me get the name right here. Hold I on. I know everything. Whoa, dude. I know the whole campaign now. <laughs> Just give me the, me the book. Just, just, sell, me, the just book. sell me the PDF and uh... <laughs> uh There you go, I sent you a message. Hey, Alright, no, roll none of this no, that was shit either, fair next, okay? You gotta tell us. Cool statue, bro. She's an Aslantis. A 
What? A wizard no, from Amos Time. That is her name. Fainted. Oh. That is her name. Aslantis? This. Alazentis. Al yeah, we'll go with that. Who's that? Al A wizard from ancient times, famous for her contributions to evocation. Oh. Okay. Oh, I, and then here you can see some more. So everyone's looking around. Good looking, good looking broad. Uh, roll perception. Oh no! Everybody. Roll d20 plus 11 perception. Okay, the the rancer in her hand is not a stat. Is not. Uh, uh, it's not stone. It's actually metal. Oh. What's in her right hand? It's called a rancer. R-A-N-S-E-U-R. -E what is that? It's a pole arm, right? Yes, it's a pole arm. Oh, so, like, is it attached to it? No, it can be pulled out. I'm gonna take that bitch. Uh, this is pretty good. All right. <laughs> Duty Yoink. sees him, re sees her reaching for it, and goes whoop. Back, 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 back. He backpedals as fast as his little feet will let him. <laughs> Can I uh, detect magic? No, I'm just grabbing the bitch. I'm like ooh, it's like a spear thingy. Yeah, back up. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you pull it out. It is a masterwork rancer. Wow. It also seems, but it seems to be a bit above masterwork. It's not. You don't know much else about it, but uh, it's clearly of, of combat-wise it's masterwork, but it may have some other value. Oh, okay. Like, neat weapon. Thanks, lady. Do you need the stats for it? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll use it. I mean, why not? I mean... I don't know if you can use it. Why not? We'll have to look that up. I don't yeah, know if it's just I'm a straight-up martial weapon. I'm looking it, it up on, uh, well, thing. I'm looking it up in the well, SRD. I already looked it up. Okay. It's disarm and reach. Uh, martial weapons? Is it? It's a martial weapon, yeah. I will. Then yeah, you should be able to yeah, use it. I, got I it. could use it. I got, weapon, I got martial weapon proficiency all. <laughs> so it's a 2d4 reach weapon. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's a masterwork one? It is masterwork. It's something else, too. All right. Might be better than your greatsword at this uh, point. It most certainly is. What's it called? Can, I, uh, can we uh, do detect magic on the thing to see if it's magic, too? Yes. It is not magical. First. He who grabs first wins. <laughs> he who grabs first might have been crushed. It's All right, similar, so similar I... in appearance to a so... trident, a ran in a sewer has a single spear at his tip, flanked by a pair of short curving blades. So, you see a door to the north, stairs to the east that are leading up, and two passageways to the south. Clearly this chamber is larger than you first expected. Shit, dude, this weapon would be sick. This is really yeah, cool. No, um, okay, so I uh, behind me, I backed up because I was afraid. What do I see down that staircase? Do I see anything far? Uh, you see farther up the stairs, but I mean, they it makes up more area when you get. I don't know if it's better than my you'll have to, sword, though. You'll have to. Well, it's a reach weapon, so probably not. Depending on if you needed a reach weapon, it's an improvement. Yeah, I mean, because I do two d four plus ten as opposed to two d six plus ten. I mean, it's got but it's plus, plus one, one the hit. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, yeah. I'll do you want to go further up, Waith? Or right, you guys need to make a, a strategy. I'm gonna hang on no, to this I weapon. But oh, hey, look a door. Maybe I'll sell it or something. Doors. Let's. Uh, I say we go down. I like down because maybe it'll link up with that other area down there that we didn't look at. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I mean, I'm good for down. I'm, I'm, you know. Move. There's a door up here. Okay, we'll leave it closed for now. <laughs> Let's explore, not open doors. A little bit here. Yeah, we hear the door open. All right. So you wish to look down the chamber? Yes. I want to see what's going on. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Passage seems to keep on going. Like, ooh, sweet. Hold on, I'm gonna hold on to this and sell it probably. I gonna have to use it? Well, I mean, my greatsword is better for damage wise right now. If I sell it, I Plus can. Plus, you have that cold it. iron spear. Yeah, I mean, if, if I sell this thing, I can get money to buy a better greatsword. 
Fair enough. All right, you descend further. You see that it does seem to be heading in the direction of the previous tunnel. Oh, sweet. Door. I'm not here go right now. But door? Okay. Yeah. Open, is it locked? Uh, no, you open it up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it does. You go. You see, it's an old, the original purpose of this chamber is unclear, but large amounts of rubble lie thrown on its floor. The wall to the west has been torn down to reveal a tunnel leading to the west. And the rubble just seems to be a bit consisted of broken urns and other pottery containers that once held food stores, long long since crumbled to dust. So you pull it up, and what would be like rice is just dust at this point. What the hell is this place? I mean, was it, does this place like was it built here, or is it? Something buried it or what? I mean, this is freaky. Like, like, where where are we in relation to the ground, like the surface? That would be fine. That'd be cool to know. I would take a survival check on that. Oh right, I got thingies for that. Uh, plus. That would be a survival, possibly a knowledge engineering or dwarf trade stuff. <laughs> engineering would also work. Is that good enough? What do you got? Keep on rolling. See what else we can figure out. Yes, did anyone? Can anyone beat twenty-three on a engineering check? I will take my. Can I take twenty? No. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, shit. Yeah, I hate you. I mean, this is creepy. The roof of this place is probably a good 50, 60 feet below Sandpoint. No shit, so it's like directly below Sandpoint? It's below Sandpoint, yes. So this is like a creepy temple thing with Aslanti list person wizard rune thingy and not much is known about uh, about as uh, at Al Zanis as a uh, she's known among wizards because uh, she, her contributions to evocation magic is immense but how she made those contributions or so forth are not exactly clear well she got a cool some of her the history of obscured on that point just that she contributed so there's some kind of creepy thing with a sins pond below Standpoint. About how far below? Sixty feet. Are they trying, to collapse? Jeez, they're trying to collapse the tunnel, maybe, so they could come up through here. So either this place is buried over time through sediment layers, or you know, because that's how sediment layers work, which is you know awesome. Or it was buried here, or something. I don't know. It's, it's it was creepy. built underground yeah. in the first place. <laughs> but you have to dig down there anyway, just. To it's creepy. This is creepy. Is it Does lit? it look like um, is it well that... lit, or is it just darkness? Except for the light that we carry. It is com it is complete darkness. That's okay. Does it, does it look like the rubble has been disturbed recently? Like maybe this is from the ceiling. No. Okay. No, this rubble is broken urns and pottery. Oh. Okay. The recently broke thing was the brick wall that's way back there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, moving on. Let's see. Yeah, let's search this one. All right. Let me reveal areas. Your mom reveals areas. Oh man. Oh mother. All right. Reveal some more areas. Oh, comes at an angle. Sweet. Charge! Alrighty. So this one's fun. Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, I, love I don't this. like fun. Fun is bad. You don't like fun. There's a door down there. Alright. Come into the room, people, so you can I can tell you what's there. Oh, okay, there's nothing okay. killing us. Not yet. This huge. Alright. The tunnel widens here into what appears to have once been a small shrine. For, for to the northeast, steps lead up to a platform of gray stone. 
Sitting atop the platform is an ancient altar, little more than jagged block of black marble with a shallow concavity on top of it. The, this basin is filled with water, what, with, with what appears to be filthy water. Oh, that sucks. Who wants to touch creepy religion? water? Knowledge religion. Is there anything? Hi. Roll, roll knowledge religion. No. Um, it is a religious to an evil god of some sort. Hey, is the water? It is it like holy water, but like for bad stuff? Yes. Ooh. Can we sell it? Uh, can I do knowledge, do uh, detect magic on the altar? Uh, yes. There is a fairly evil magic emanating from it. Can we sell okay. the water? Uh, how would you go up and drink Probably it? Probably not. There's nothing wrong with it. Can I pee? Can, I, can we desecrate it? <laughs> is there penny so, leaves for like us to desecrate it? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Can I pee? Can I go, like, that'd probably help them. <laughs> it's laugh. It's it's neutral good pee, okay? So it dilutes a badness. What who's it a shrine to? You don't desecrate that stuff, you consecrate it. <laughs> oh, there's okay. no symbol uh, there's no symbolism here to tell you what it's a shrine to. But can like you can do you, you guys do some magic stuff to see what like what kind of water it is? Unholy water, let's move on. That's what you know, it's unholy water. Oh. <laughs> I can tell you Can we consecrate it then? <laughs> what do you look to you, a cleric? I don't know. Giant Cast open and close on this door, does it open? Wait, will that door open? Yeah, I cast open and yep. close on it. Well shit, dude. Let's what does open and close do? Open it opens door. stuff that's not locked. Or closes it. <laughs> or closes it. But I cast open right now. I can cast either one. It, it basically... It basically reverses the open closeness of an object. So if it's closed, it opens. If it's closed, if it's open, it closes. Yeah, it leads into whatever. Open sesame! Hey, Helga. Get up there. Tell me what you see. I'm not gonna walk into a strange room. You go first. <laughs> You're walking into a strange room you for were, hours dude. already! Okay, yeah. I'll, stand, I'll stand like here-ish. And peer through the door. All right, I have stuff I have to do. Oh. So you look into the uh, door with a light. Do you have a torch in your hand? Uh, he does. I'm not carrying a torch. I figure most of you are probably just carrying tor torches when you're not doing okay. anything. Then we just drop them and pick them back up when we're done. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you come through and look into the chamber. This is a fun one. Hold on. I'm so excited. Don't get this too excited. All right. Don't get too excited. You look in. What the hell? Hey, it's yes. something. It's Ill Illyrium. This huge room looks like nothing more than an immense underground cathedral. Stone doors stand to either side of the main entrance. But beyond this, the walls are carved with strange spiky ruins. In the center of this room is a large pool with a ring of polished human skulls balanced on stone spikes, Sweet. arranged in a circle around the deeper midsection. At the far end of the room, a pair of stone stairlades leads up to a pulpit on which sits a second pool. This one triangular and filled with churning, bubbling water that looks almost like translucent lava. Yet while Wisp of what looks like heat and steam rise from the strange orange liquid, the room itself is deathly cold. Lucky I have cold on. clothes on. Note the doors on either side, by the way, guys. Eh? Oh, yeah, there's two creepy doors, huh? That were lots of Hold on, I may have to move something. Creepy doors, I hate creepy doors. Your mother has a creepy door. I'm like, now, what you see... Room, and then you close the door. Yeah. Uh, Use the open close again. <laughs> Actually, no, so she would be up on the tower. So, and you see a creature in the room. What kind of knowledge might it tell us? It's got nice boobs. All right. Hold on. Man. It's Sorry, a, having it's, troubles with this it's thing right now. Irelium. You have knowledge planes, right? Yes. I have it. I have Arcana, History, Local, knowledge, uh, Nature, and Planes. Well, don't, 
you know, hold back your like, knowledge of pains. Yeah. Eat that. Fancy Ooh. wizard. Who dat? Who dat? Ah, GGY. <laughs> Roll d20 plus 10. We'll Alright, do you recognize it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem, dude! <laughs> it's less like his win button. He just pushes it and then win, win, win. Alright, so let me put screen share to share with Illyrium. So Illyrium, uh, you recognize, she's flying in the air. She's only a foot and a half tall, actually. Uh, did you want? Oh, Who did? Who this did? Is giant. No, she's a foot and a half tall. She is a quasit. Ah, this must be the quasit mentioned in uh... Tutu's hey, journal. I have a do you remember... question. <laughs> All right, Aquaza, do you remember the imps that you ran into in in uh, Corvosa in that previous game? Yeah. 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 A Quasa, uh an imp is the lawful is from the lawful evil plane, and it is the lowest level of devil. A Quasa is the low level of demon. Oh. Uh, to chaotic evil stemming from the abyss. Don't the quasi. creatures. All right, the creature looks upon you. Hey, do we know anything about these creatures that would be helpful? Um, yeah. I, I, I assume that uh, Varanex knows everything. Well, don't feel free to like. All right. You know, don't like stop. Get your push. I look at it and then I immediately tell Helga, "Cold Iron Spear out now." Gotcha, Cold Iron Spear. The Post. You see the closet fly into a rage as it looks upon you and sees the light. It has not dark vision, so that, but it shrieks and then it's like, ah, daring to intrude upon the mother's sanctum. And you see her with a small dagger in her hand slash at her own wrist. Oh. Uh, and this, Maybe she'll uh, kill herself. It's a small dagger sized to her body and blood drips from her hand and into the water. Into the gold water she stands upon. And then... Peering, uh, emerging out of the water is another creature. It's a sins pun. Sins pun. <laughs> I say we uh, just stand in this doorway and uh, shoot at her. Roll sense motive. I got a All right. on that. Sins motive. As she does, as she does, the liquid in the side, the golden li liquid diminishes in color. Who that? Who that? Ah, did you buy? Yes, motive. Ah, so no good sense motive. Okay. Who did? Who did? So, uh, initiative, I guess. All right, I can do that too. Yeah, I should still have your turn order here. Please update. Damn. You have spells for this, right? So you can like charm a person or something? No. I don't have any cast of charm person. No. <laughs> As a free action, I yell at the, uh, at the closet in the abyssal that I'm going to kill it. That's a good use of your time, I guess. <laughs> I have nothing else to do right now as I it's see like, it. Hey, you want to go out? You got nice uh, stuff. It's like midget porn or something. It's a foot and a half tall. Midget porn. And no, I'm, five. Just, I'm just cursing at an abyssal, because I can. <laughs> Isn't just talking in an abysmal sound like a German? <laughs> Sounds evil, German. Ich will seinen Toten! Grenade! <laughs> I speak, only German I know is from, uh, like, Day of Defeat. <laughs> That's fine that the screen switched. Alrighty, so... I lost the thing that updates the turn order. I don't know. I That's have annoying. It. Ooh, it's a Can someone refresh the turn order? I don't know how you refresh. How did that happen? I lost the thing that does the turn order, so we'll have to just work it out. Johnny Rico gets to go first. I'm like, I yell, like, I think we should all just stay back. Yeah, I lost mine too. It went away from me. Wait. What's going on, man? It's freaking me out. Oh, it just disappeared. There it is. All right, there we go. Uh, descending. Okay, now everyone should be good, right? Yeah. 
Is he oh, turn order? Uh, yes, bueno. Yeah. Okay, Johnny Rico. Level level one Johnny Rico should probably... Hey, he has like the positive energy stuff, right? I don't think that actually harms outsiders. It harms undead, but not outsiders, I don't think. Oh. Hmm. How would you uh, like to get bigger, uh, Helga? How would I like to get bigger? Yeah, the, if this is a cathedral, then it has large walls. He has a spell for this. Yes, How would you does. like... How would you like to get larger? How would I? I don't know. How yeah. would I? In a large person? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, it would, it, would, it would severely improve your damage. <laughs> like, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> no, it would just be an extra two strength. Well, it also increases the size of his equipment, which would change his greatsword from 2d6 to 3d6 or 2d8? I can't remember how, what yeah. it goes up. So, um, or if he uses that uh, one weapon or whatever, then he can. Uh, the why the, sewer why the cold, like cold iron spear doesn't have? That You're gonna want to use your cold iron spear. They have DR. Okay. And it has How would you like in well, large person? What's the damage on the uh, spear? I don't know. Uh, one D eight plus seven. This would upgrade it to a 1d10, plus uh, you'd have another plus 2 to your strength. Okay, let me see if I can uh, get a condition here. Condition. Enlarge person. Enlarge. Add new spell adjustment. Enlarge person. Adding close. Okay, it makes me do my spear or 2d6 plus 6. Plus whatever rage stuff gives me. If I, I only that's eighteen. Now if I put rage on. Oh my god! <laughs> I just explode. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's two right. six plus nine. Wait, there's a down in front. Now if I do power attack, it's plus twelve. Eight gestures. Uh, you double in height, and your weight multiplies by eight. Holy you, shit! Uh, turn turn into a large creature. You take a plus two size bonus to strength, a minus two size penalty to dexterity, and a negative one penalty on attack rolls and AC due to its increased size. I'm Helga. <laughs> your, your size increases. You have a space of ten feet and a natural reach of ten feet. So th then the spear goes up. So you have a reach of like twenty feet with the spear. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> you I might not know. actually need the spear because you'll just destroy things straight through their DR. <laughs> uh, I have a reach of a lot. Um, and then, actually, you may not want to use the spear anymore. <laughs> if, if I use my greatsword, it's 3d6 plus 12. Wow. I would use that instead. <laughs> yes! yes. You I think you're, just... you'll go right through their DR. I, if I power next attack, yeah. as, you, as you grow, and it's like, uh, forget the spear, just Does it give the greatsword. <laughs> right. Does it give the length of that? I have no idea. Okay. This, this I have a so, just, yeah, just eat her in one gulp, Ow. and then it's game over. I'll just eat her. <laughs> just eat the cost. Okay, so whose turn is it? Sin's, swallow Sin's, hole. Sin's pawn turn. I barely fit through the door because I'm working these guns. I'm gonna say I'm gonna shoot my like arrows through between your legs. Right, so I go from, I go from, go from <laughs> a C cup to like a, 20, like a Z 30. cup. Sin spawn moves over. Actually, no. So it's five, fifteen, twenty. I... I'm like in uh, what's that movie with? We'll uh... stop there. I'm like, dude, where's my car? Wait. I got like that chick that grows so big. Wait, your turn. Can you I know... shoot it? Um, shoot what? The Sin's Pawn. Sin's Pawn. Wait, you can have... I shoot the other one? I think it's good. You can shoot through my legs. You should. It would have concealment. At... Wait, what's the rate range? A hundred feet or something. Uh, you would, it would have concealment. Oh, all right, I'll shoot the. the Basically, from Varanex, Varanex's reach uh, of a. Um, it's black. So basically, you can hit up to forty feet of Varanex without any penalties. All right, I'm gonna. Or no, uh, yeah, forty feet without penalties. 
You could move, probably get into the room and then shoot it. Uh, yeah. Move and attack. Just we're, roll we're, through all we're doing is moving into the room. We're not staying like pansies outside the room. Well, I guess it's not my turn yet, so I can't go. I'm asking what the plan is. Well, I'm going to go in and I'm going to freaking gerbil smash the sin spawn. <laughs> okay. I'll move into the room then. I'm, 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 like a, I'm like a guinea pirate right now. Might as move. Might as well move in and shoot it. I'm gonna move into the corner. I'll cautiously. I'm a guinea pirate. All right. At this point, you do actually have. You can drop your uh, torch there and then shoot it. Right. Miss Helga. <sighs> I'll go smash! <laughs> Rage mode! What's my reach? 15. <laughs> so I can move, take a five foot step and still hit it, I think. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> five foot step. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't even know what my bonuses are here with. Activate power attack, raging. I can do unarm attack for like a lot. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even power attack this thing. But it'd be cool. Okay, no power attack. But it gives me plus three. Three D six plus nine. So we'll just go plus seven then, okay. Uh, if I use the yeah, never mind. Uh, okay, so plus seven. Yeah, I fail. The rod! As your sword in the ground. Varanex. How long does your enlarged person last? Sounds like a minute or something. One minute per level, so. Alright, two. So, yeah, two, just, it will not matter. Varanex, your turn. Okay. Um. Ready to work. I would take a five foot step. And that hits touch AC. Her touch AC? No, the uh, sin spawn. Sin spawn? Yes. Pew, pew. It takes two damage. A savage two. Okay. Take a step forward, snap my fingers, and send forth a uh, small orb of fire at it. Pew, pew. All right. Illyrium. It's within reach, dude. 15, 20. Great sword. Illyrium comes forward. <laughs> you, uh, Illyrium, this creature, steps forward, or flies forward. She's flying in the air. Points her hand at you, Helga. Shooting and person. then roll, touch attack. Let's see if this hits. Doesn't your touch AC go up too? My touch AC no, is so low, I'd say it's insane. No, her touch AC actually goes down. <laughs> That's what I mean, yeah. Yep, um, you hit me. <laughs> okay, give me a save. Uh, so this is actually pretty good. A fortitude save? Oh, plus eight. That's all. Woo, quantum roller. What did you roll? 26. Alright. You get blasted by this thing, and you feel some of your strength fading from you. You lose four strength. What? That sucks. You say it? Wait. No, she say it. Johnny Rico. Who's gonna move? Huh. I'll move Johnny Rico for this. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty... 30, and goes to stab the creature. Misses. Bad. The Sin Spawn steps and tries to carve into Rico. What's his AC? I don't know. It's like 18. Uh, <laughs> 16. Alright. It bites into it. Fortitude save. Fort. Plus four. I'll do it. 
Ten. I'm sorry, actually, uh, say that was a will save. Same thing! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. It, uh, he becomes sickened. Oh, no! From the bite. Uh, Johnny Rico's mind fills with thoughts of sin and wrath and... He's got herpes. As he gets in, as he gets so instantly angry, and he takes damage. So, uh, how much damage does he take? One d six. Sorry, trying to keep track of everything. One point of damage, but wait, your turn. All right. Uh, is, is she still under concealment? Mm, yes. Uh, wait, what's your range? What's the range to it? Uh, I'm gonna move up to 30 feet either way, so. 40. It's gonna be either way, she's gonna be concealed. I have low light what? vision. What? Well, yeah, I have low light vision. So it's 40 feet f from Varanex. I'm gonna be 30. Oh. He dropped his his uh. Nate Waith dropped his freaking torch. All right, 40 feet from where uh, Waith is standing. That's 40 feet, exactly. All right, then yeah, no... Fine, you can roll well, to attack. I'm going to move up here. Wait, let me see, because I want to stay away from that sensor thing. I want to be a bitch and, like, stay in the corner. Is that hit her? No. Wow. Your arrow just swings, b uh, bounces off her natural hide. Elga. <laughs> Elga, smash. Five foot step. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to wreck that thing. <laughs> Elga, smash. Elga, Miss fail. <laughs> <laughs> Just flush. <laughs> Cuts off John. Right. Right Next. Varanex. Kill things. Do, 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 do. Uh, firework on her. So, can I see er early? I'm gonna hit her. If yeah, I have a spell that can reach that far? Oh, this yes. legs, yeah, between there. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, uh, it's dim light, so depending on what the attack is, that might affect it. Aha! Uh -huh. I, but I, I, I can see her. It's magic missile. <laughs> I'm going to magic missile her face, so... In the darkness. Alright, so that would get through damage. Aha! Uh -huh, savage five! Varenex extends his hands, chants a few words of magic, and then closes all of his fingers and fires a single dart into her chest. Right, no, I leave her chest alone, dude. Make his target. Alright, Illyrium's turn. A, uh, she gestures... Uh, she, and then for that, she, uh, she casts... You see, uh, uh she gestures with her hands, and then a monster... Where did that monster go? Oh, I lost a monster. That sucks. Oh, well, she doesn't use it. Not a sin spawn, but... Control C, V. A goblin dog appears right here with... <laughs> and... Uh, are you good? Hmm. Are you good? Yeah. Uh, I mean, a good guy. Oh, good yeah. to your alignment. Good. Yeah, that's good. All right, but uh, I don't think that's good enough to summon the creature. Goblin, a goblin dog of a summon, uh, of a summon thing attacks. It has a plus two to hit you. It would hit a twelve. Does it hit? No, I wait two. Okay, next. And it steps back. Johnny Rico. 
Johnny Rico, who is sickened by this creature. I guess he'll step back and try and attack. Is he raging against the machine? Uh, he would hit. What was his damage? High? 11 billion. One. <laughs> six plus a bunch. 1d8 plus 6. 12. So 12 oh, Alright. It's not a very happy sin. Wait, he might not have been able to hit that thing. Right, he was sickened or something. Because he was sickened, yeah. It's negative two to attack. So yeah, he would have just barely hit uh, on a weapon hit damage roll. Four. But that would have taken off the damage. So instead of doing twelve, he does ten to it. All right, the sin spawns turn. It goes to bite Helga. Goes for a couple attacks again. It reaches out the bite Helga. Yeah, pretty sure. 14? Um... Holy crap. 14, 17, 23. What order? Yeah, you got me. All three? I don't know. Uh, 17 what? 14, does that hit? Yes. It bites you. Give me a will save. Fifteen. Fifteen. Alright, let's see. Man, making everything so hard on me. Everything's so hard. Okay, so... Man. Oh, you actually uh, saved again. So you feel these powerful emotions of sinful thoughts try and overwhelm you, but it does not. Hell yeah. Would Wrath even dude, affect someone who's raging? I'm raging, dude. <laughs> Does this doesn't fuck, really fucking matter. <laughs> What's going through my mind? But you take... Uh... Five, six, seven... Twelve damage. Ow. Wait, your turn. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna step back... Here, wait. Damn it. Oh, wait, I'm going to fire, then step back. Okay. You'll get a provoking attack of opportunity. Yeah, you're firing oh, the melee. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Max okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot the sin spawn, then, I guess. You mean the goblin dog in front of you, or the sin or the spawn? Goblin, yeah, the goblin dog. Sorry. It's going to make you itchy. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. Okay, go to shoot it. Watch your hit. So then. All right, the goblin dog is nearly dead. Okay. Really wish I had cleave right about now. Helga. I'm going to hit something, please, for the love of God. I don't know. I mean, how how do I move? Can I move through the between these guys, or no? Or I'm just too big. Uh, you attack a baby. Yeah, I would do attack of opportunities and stuff for you. Oh, good smash sins, spawn. I actually was a plus five, actually, because I got sapped. I think. Yeah. Yes. Finally, right? Hit. What's your minimum damage? <laughs> so you're 3d6, so 3 plus. 315, right? Uh, 3 plus, no power tag, so 6, so 9 minimum. Dead. Varenex. Another savage 5 damage to the closet! Alrighty. When Varenex sees okay. the strike hit hitter again, he yells something. Alright, the goblin dog goes to bite. Wait. 
Just net for booking that attack of opportunity. No, it just stepped. Oh. Seventeen. Uh, that barely does not get What's your AC? Eighteen. All oh, right. Haha, -ha, bitches. So, but she still gets her move. Bitch, you're next. Wait, so she cut her right. hand, and then a freaking drug blood dropped into the thingy, and then the sin spawn happened? Yeah. That's where, that's where little boys come from. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> she reaches out. That's where babies come from. Cats to spell at you. Alright, she reaches... Man, stupid magic. So complicated. Alright, give me a will save, uh, Mike. Helga, give me a will save. Um, four. Four. She gestures maniacally at you, and you become paralyzed and frozen in place. I'm not sure I can be. Why not? Um, hold on. It's paralyzed. Okay. All right, so that covers its turn and that attack. Johnny Rico! Johnny Rico does not want to get involved in the the uh, demonic woman situation. So Johnny Rico steps and goes to kill the goblin dog. Misses. Wait. Okay, so he's paralyzed or not? Helga is paralyzed. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna... S I hate wasting my... You know what, the goblin dog... Can anybody do like two damage to the goblin dog because it's almost Just dead? Kill it, I wanna... dude. Just kill it, man. Ah, that's a waste. Okay. It's not I'm a waste. Step... Kill it. Maybe Veronex can explain to you why you killing the goblin dog is not a waste. Okay. That thing has an incredibly high DC or AC because, like, you know, <laughs> it's really small. Helga, you can attempt attempt a full uh, as a full round action. Attempt a. Will, uh, you can attempt another will save. Okay. No. Veronex. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. It... Wow! Three max damage magic missiles in a row! <laughs> so you did 550. So that means you've done a total of 15 damage? Yep. And that's all three of my magic missile spell casts. All I have left oh, is one burning hand, just one effector very much. Dude, take your mic away from me. Mike, I think that's you. Alright, so... Illyrium... Comes forward and will provoke an attack of opportunity from Johnny Rico. Misses. And. And Helga, right? Because of her reach? Helga is paralyzed. Oh, yeah, she's paralyzed. That's right. So she cackles maniacally and uses other magical abilities in her uh, thing. Give me a uh, will saves, everyone. Wait, do I get the enchantment bonus? Half yeah, you would get the enchantment bonus from that. I need will saves. What you casting? Uh, cause fear. All right. Actually, let me check the distance on that. So you need to be thirty. Be in range, thirty feet. And so she wouldn't be there. She'd be one over. So what is everyone's will saves? Ten. 11. 
Roll d20 plus. Oh, Rico's fine. I think I'm fine. <laughs> okay, everyone uh, who. F uh, Wait and Helga. You are stricken with fe you are now f you are stricken with fear and frightened. Uh, you flee from the source of the fear as best you can. If unable to flee, if uh, you might fight. A frightened creature takes a negative two penalty on all attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, ability checks. So you are in a state of fear and must flee as best you can for the next one d four rounds or one rounds. Okay, so let me roll. I can't run. Yeah, that's interesting. For two rounds. And every and uh, wait for next and and uh, you are shaken. So you're a negative two penalty on attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. So that's two rounds. Johnny Rico, just shaken. He's gonna step back and try and stab stab this monster. Miss Waith. Uh, so can I still? I can run. Can I still shoot? It says I'm negative mm -hmm. two. Or no, you have to. Uh, How far do I? You have to double I, move as you have to double move as fast and as far as you can. So sixty feet. Yeah. Run in a circle. <laughs> Holy crap! I can get really far. Helga, she releases her uh, hold no, on you. You can't do that. Okay, uh, I guess you can attempt a full round save. I'm not going to. I'm going to yeah. stay paralyzed. Hmm, does that count? <laughs> I'm not running nowhere, dude, and I'm just going to stay paralyzed. I'm going to ponder the situation that I'm in. Can I try and clothesline? A frightening creature can use special like abilities, including spells of hooting. hitting. Let's use such means that they are only. Yeah, you can attempt to hit them with it to try and do a non. But Unless am you I have to try and. Or am I, you know, or I gotta run. Which one? Uh, roll, you give me a will save. Why? You have the CMB. You have the CMD me. Will save, but you're minus two, so try that. Who? Wait, uh, Helga, give me a will save, minus two. Why? I want to know Because you have. To... Saving for it. You're trying to flee, so you have to try and unparalyze yourself. I don't want to flee, so I'm not going to run. Uh, you don't have an option. You don't have an option. You can't make me save something I don't want to save. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. Yes, you can. Oh look, I failed. You're no longer in control of your actions. You're frightened. All right, that was your full round action. So you are unparalyzed, which means that if she tries to move, you can totally hit it. Very next, except for being shaken, you're uh, for this round, you're pretty good. Except for the fact that I'm now out of abilities that can actually harm her because she has enough fire resistance to completely negate most of my attacks. Just try to trip me when I'm running by. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, I guess you could. You could try a CMB. Yeah. I, a All right, I, will... CMB, but... I actually All right. don't think you can as an attack of opportunity attempt a trip. But roll not. anyways. We'll see. Yeah, okay, I will... Yeah, as he's running past, they're going to say that I... Because I know he's fleeing, I'm going to try and trip him. I... No. <laughs> You're running way too fast. Like, what the... Oh. The good news, Varanex, is I gave you a specific weapon just for this situation. You have a specific weapon that's useful just in this case. Oh, yeah. Um... Cold iron stuff, man. <clears throat> I mean, it's an off chance, but actually be able to get past uh, all this damage reduction. But yeah, well, with any luck. Um, hold on a second. I'm just. I want cold iron getting... arrows, man. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, definitely within range. So. Miss, probably, I'm guessing. Yeah, so it is the monster Illyrium's turn. This is where it gets interesting, because at this point doesn't have... 
Uh, much left. Bite cause. All right, so you are no longer paralyzed, Helga. But it only has two dude. That would provoke an attack of opportunity, which it doesn't want. Hold on one more. Alright, so uh, without its minion, it is pretty much effed in the A, but it will uh, fight as it can. It throws its dagger at you. Uh, yeah, we'll throw its dagger. It will throw it at Johnny Rico. Hits. Wow. But it doesn't do much. And it will step towards him. To does anyone know how much points Rico has? Uh, yeah, eleven for level one. All right, so he might be dying. Uh, it's Johnny Rico's turn. Can we keep track of his health? I'm keeping track. Uh, he can try and step and attack the thing. He does not have a plus nine. Wait, run again. All right, 63. Helga, run. I can't fit. Th I can't fit through the door. Then you wouldn't have been able to fit through the door when to get into the room. I don't know. I'm you can probably sure. run back to here. I can't know where he is. Okay. Veronex. Hey, can you trip me on the way out? Uh, uh, no, not at your size. <laughs> no, not at your size. I basically flatten myself against the walls. You run past. I'm like, well, uh, there goes our frontline fighters. Rap. I wanna, I wanna see <laughs> him. I wanna yeah. picture, that, picture her falling on her face. Roar. <laughs> Scrove just got on nope. steam. Huh. All right, so with the returning dagger, she'll fly out after Varanex. Dagger of opportunity, man. Yeah, there'll be a few. Or uh, that's a good. I'm, I'm no longer running, and I'm. She's within range. She goes on top of that, man. Uh, going into the hex would be fine, but oh, she's entering a threatened hex. That it just—it's leaving a threatened hex. And this is why no one likes tax of opportunity. <laughs> Actually, so with the returning weapon, when does a returning weapon get back to you? Do anyone knows? Uh, next round, I think. Uh, is it? Returning weapon fights to the end. Returns to the throw just before the creature is next. Uh, okay, therefore ready to use again. It throws its blade at you, Varanex. Uh, why in the world are we in different positions now? <laughs> like, how did I get down here? What did you pass? Like, sorry. <laughs> did you move the wrong people? All right. Good point. Thank you. I kind of figured you grabbed the wrong person. <laughs> Eleven. Sure that it's. I don't know what that was. Oh. oh, dang. One point of damage to Varanex. Oh no, I'm dying! Johnny Rico will try and kill again. 17 plus his bonus. Johnny Rico hits! Yeah. What's the damage of his attack? Does he have a cold iron thing? No, he does not. 1d8 plus 6. Yeah, that'll, that'll bypass the damage anyway, so... Because it's only a dr5. His strength bonus will let him bypass it. 12 yeah. minus 5... 7. 7. So that's a total of 21 damage is taken so far. <laughs> Wait! Like, you're, back in, you're back in play. I'm like, oh, look at that. Nice statue. Yeah, I'm not running no more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow! Like a little pansy. Fortunately, doesn't have any more of this. I just need one good swing in that thing, dude. All right, so Waith is going to double move to get back. Helga. So what does charging do? It gives me a plus two to attack or something? Yeah, plus two to your attack roll. Nothing to damage. I'm going to attack it because she has a high AC. So I'm raging. I am charging. Since my AC is already shit. Uh, no power attack. And I'm going to try to kill her. So, plus seven. Hey, I'm back with a normal normal. <laughs> ah, Dice hates me. Move, move close so I can see. Varanex. I think you need a uh, natural 20 to hit this thing with your... No, Pretty man. much. Plus seven, man. No, I need it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. I did some good-ass barbecue last night, man. Like, literally, almost nothing I can do since I waste, I used all of my uh, casts already. Stab it, bitch, man. I can't! I won't even, I won't bypass the DR. <laughs> even if I do hit. Grab my cold iron spear off my back, dude. I'm not proficient. I would I would never it's hit with that. A simple weapon. Wizards don't have simple weapon proficiency. Wizards have no proficiencies. You suck. Oh, oh uh, you're you're strength 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 fire. <laughs> or at least I need to pass. Yeah, I didn't. Wait, my strength's back. Hel Helga, your strength is back. You'd still oh. miss, but. So it's Illyrium's turn, because Varanex just attempt the shot, did you? Alright. Maybe, maybe you get a d20. Nope. Alrighty, so... It, uh, it's... Unfor oh man, this... So it is uh, doesn't have much of an option left to protect itself. But it's going to try spell, uh, which can cause, give me an attack of opportunity. Who? Both, both of you guys. Uh, no, she's going to step away from him, but even here, you're still in range. So give me attack of opportunity. Maybe you kill this thing. <laughs> no, give me a will save. You're paralyzed again. <laughs> yeah. No, you're fine. Rico's turn to then step and kill this thing. Yeah, Scrove says he just got in, so... Yeah, he's sorry he didn't make That's... it. Scrove misses. Wait, your turn. All right. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should grab the grab the cold iron spear off the Helga's back. Yeah. It's just, it's just the DR, though, part of it, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I feel like it can do more damage. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run 30 and then shoot, since there's no reason for me not to do that. Okay. And let's see my range. Let's see if I get that. Oh, yes. Seven plus six. Seven. Need an 18, bro. Miss. Helga. Um, can I charge? I don't know. No, you have to be able to charge at least 10 feet. I am. I can go 10 feet. No. Yeah, 10 feet. That's 5. No That's charge. Wind up. Can I take a step back and then charge? No. No, you can't take a 5 <laughs> I'll take a five-foot step and then... Also, rereading re the rules on charge, I'm going to say that I spent my last turn getting up after having basically thrown myself to the floor. Oh, yeah, suck it, bitch. This thing her. is so dead. This thing is just dead. Roll damage. I am going to. I'm going to freaking 3d6 plus 9 this bitch. Isn't that minimum... Isn't it dead minimum damage? No, because it has DR and it has a lot of hit points if it survived, like... Oh, oh my god! <laughs> 
one more day. You just did as much damage in one hit as I did over the course of three spells. It's, it's like I, I blade smacked her in the ass. Like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> You're being a bad yeah. demon. I at you carve it in half as it falls apart dead. I, I ran like, hey guys, what's going on? I'm shrinking again. Yay. Can you shrink me, Adam? I'm gonna go check out the thing that she was standing on. I am going to go see to see if that dagger is still there. Yes, you're able to re pick up the dagger. Oh, neat. All right, go check it out. Bloop. So you go up to it. It's there from the creepy circle of skulls. No, the blue pool is a circle of skulls. This, yeah, the blue water is a circle of skulls. Is that where she used to cut her hand? No, she did it above the gold. Okay. What is this thing? Uh, you don't know. I don't know. I'm asking people who are smarter than me. Very nice. I am currently looking at this dagger. It's a nice dagger. Come check out this freaking glowy pool triangle thing. I cast detect magic. Is the, is the dagger magic? <laughs> the dagger is very magic. Alrighty then. I'm going to roll a d20 plus 10 spellcraft check. To identify it. I probably just identified it. <laughs> okay, so what it is, it's kind of a weird item because it's built for such a tiny creature. Um, it is a... And that makes it an issue. It's probably really only worth the value you can sell it for because there's no way you can use it. His bird can. Wow. <laughs> it's a tiny creature, right? Yes, yes it's it is. A, Your bird can use plus, it. It's a plus one cold iron returning dagger. Dude, give Made it to your bird. Where is your, where is your bird? Yes. Constantly sitting on my shoulder. That's where it always is. Why wasn't it attacking then? Uh, because it doesn't have... It, it's a fami Familiars don't attack, you idiot. Animal companions attack. Familiars do not. What are you good for? I know. They're not, you can't attack. All right, so you, you look at the water? Yeah, the gooey gold stuff. Okay, I'm going to join them up there looking at it. Now that I've... So, yeah, wait, can I basically throw it like a dart? Can you just take <laughs> 20 on this thing, Varanax? You're going to want the cash value of this thing. Oh, if it's worth a lot then. It does, it's worth like over 10,000 gold. Holy shit. Holy crap, we were selling it. Mine, mine, mine. I can, I, mine. I'm going to punch you in the tip. I a normal sized one. <laughs> yeah, you can You buy trip uh, Varanax, he falls in the pool and kicks it. Yeah, he dies. Hey, so what's this pool thing? Roll something. You don't know. Varenex. What do I roll? Uh, all of them. <laughs> what do you want me to roll, GM? Do you have a macro that just rolls all of them? Oh, that's uh, pretty funny, though. No. Perception? Knowledge Arcana? Knowledge, uh, uh, Arcana, you? I would guess. Okie dokie. Take 20. <laughs> no. Oh, 16. Not only do you not know what this is... You are not sure anybody would know what this is. This is pretty new. Well, she cut her hand you're in, over. Right? You're in uh you're in unknown territory at this point. She cut her hand over, right? And dropped blood into it, and then a sin spawn came came out. Yep. I'm gonna cut Wait, my hand. Gonna over I'm gonna and... cut my hand and drop some blood <laughs> no. in it and see what happens. Run away! <laughs> Alrighty, it's 3.06. We're going to pause here. Oh. Alright. We're going to pause with Helga's <laughs> Cutting blood it. dripping into the... <laughs> I want to see what happens, man. Alright, you want to see what happens? Yeah. <laughs> Very All right. they're going to run. Peace! Another Helga pops out of the pool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, you cut. How much are you putting in? I don't know. As much as I think that the other person put in. I was a tiny creature, but uh. I'm gonna just cut my, hand, do cut my hand like a Klingon and freaking, you know. It Come does on! what you think it would do, and. All right. All right. So we'll have fun. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> 
So just with a uh, you you know, or blood in your hand, it's three is... sin spawn bursts from the liquid. Eleven boars. <laughs> <laughs> this is our boar. This is our boar generator, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever happens, just leave it like it is and just come here for free XP. Yeah, no, seriously, we can totally grind out like level seven here. Uh, has anybody else here played uh, Knights of the Republic 2? Uh, the, the old one? Like the, Knights of like the, the, the old RPG from Bioware? From no, the one from Obsidian, the sequel. Well, but yeah, the, great there's, a, there's a bug in that one where you can constantly open a corpse and spawn enemies and you can just grind in that cave forever. Oh, <laughs> Good okay. for like level 25. <laughs> okay, session three. How many experience points? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. See here. When the sin spawn bursts up, Varenek starts muttering O's in Abyssal, Celestial, Draconic, Elven, Goblin, Ignon, and Infernal. <laughs> Just going through a bunch as many O's and curses like, as he can it, think of. It's like, shaking yes. his head in his hand. Or like, or like no in Spanish and French and. No. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Now nope, 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 nope. going... right. nah, he's just muttering to tell go ahead like, and, uh... Hold on, let me get your XP. Oh, okay. Gonna stop. Five million! Yes. Level up to level 30. Shit, man. And so you killed Illyrium, her little master a priest, but we'll cover that. She's a... How much did you need? The level 1,100 points. Oh, nice. Add EXP. We are almost there. We only need about 900 now. Yeah. To ding to level 3. 824. We could totally do that next session. Especially since we have the... Silver name, Illyrian. Yeah, I'll finally get my second level spells, which are better than my first level spells. Dude, Can't wait till third level spells, though. Fireball, fireball, we'll, fireball, we'll, fireball! We'll ding in, like, first ten minutes of the game next week because of the freaking EXP generator we have here. No, it will max out at about 450 apiece. If you do the math. We'll run out of, uh, sin spawn spawnings. That sucks. How do you spell her name, Illyrian? How do you spell her name? I don't know, whatever it said on... E R Y L I U M. E R Y L I U M. Yes. Okay. Well, this was a good session, I think. Yep, I got it recorded too, so hopefully it actually records. I'm gonna stop recording now, Adam.